What's up, guys? This is Heiss. That's right. We are, we're going to be playing Railroader today. Uh, the folks over at Railroader, Connor and Adam, were kind enough to get me an early access key to play the game. Um, so we're going to be checking it out. I checked it out a little bit last night to just kind of get acquainted with it so I wasn't trying to figure out uh, <laughs> exactly how things function and everything on stream. Um and uh, it seems pretty neat in concept so far. Um, they did remind me that it is early access of early access. So this is like very first early on uh, view. So they've got a lot of stuff that they're working on. Like they're saying that like models are being worked on and uh, um, some of the fleshing out of the map and more buildings and that sort of thing is still to come. And there might be some interesting oddities with certain features. So um, uh knowing that as with uh, everything so we'll take a look and uh, jump into the game here but i can see that the 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 economy breakers are here um i've yet to be attacked by birds on my stream but um apparently apparently that's not that's not happening yet stream elements hasn't woken up to smell the coffee <clears throat> my friend ezekiel thank you for 50 gifted memberships uh i, I I don't know what to say to you other than you're ridiculous and I appreciate you. RCM136 also gifting 50. Um, and then it, it shows up twice. Did you give, did you give a hundred? And I'm just having trouble. Yes. Yeah, no, it show it's double reporting it at least. Stream elements is trying to catch up. They're over here. It's fine. <laughs> wow. Well, thank you friends. Farm Shop Chronicles. Does this game allow Kenosha chic chicanery? Uh, kind of. You can't. You can come off the rails, and you'll see that we have an engine that's off the rails that we got to go rescue. Cause uh, we're starting over with a fresh save here. And Abe Lincoln, hello. Congratulations on 100k. I tip my hat to you. It's a very large hat. Thank you. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna jump back into Discord here. We have Mick, Tristan, and Wings and Strings joining us, and uh, let's. Let's jump into this thing. Let's see what happens here. Hello, friends. Hello. 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 Colorado train nerd. It's uh, November. You we still have highs of 70. You, Gross. I did you get did one. You did get 100 memberships. Okay. Uh, 50 I couldn't. from Ezekiel and 50 from RCM. It showed RCM 136 gifting 50 twice. I don't know if that's just a weird reporting issue, but uh, we have a train. I feel like I'm sunk into the ground. I'm a little short. That's fine. So model stuff still getting updated, apparently, is uh, what we've been briefed on. And this is the ES and DT, naturally, because we're in the, the later years of things. No game sounds. They're just very quiet, <laughs> I think. Let me... Uh, <clears throat> uh, okay. Is there options for that? Return to game, save, quit. Um tutorial console company window. so i understood you found railroader so i found bupkis for you oh hi Buffy. Hi. you found it we found it we found the railroader okay i have i have talking in discord turn uh, it up mark saudi is not coming across discord oh i i need to um i need to turn voice activity back on I like to voice activity on stream because it's too much to think about uh, with push to talk and everything. So, anyway, I said, so the thing about, I said the thing about two people and was met with absolute silence, and I was very confused. Oh, this, it made sense to stream, but it didn't make sense in <laughs> Discord. It's fine. Hi, Buffy. Hello. Hi. Uh, anyways, so uh, Octopat5313, a month of engineer. Let's go. Super happy. Thank you, friend. Um,. Yeah, so here we are. Model stuff still being updated is what I've been told. So uh, these models may not be final, but you can see that we have a sad, derailed brown choo-choo over here. It has browned. Uh, that... You should stream to Discord real quick. <laughs> oh, yeah, we could do that. Pow. Double the streaming. Clark Locomotive Machine Works. Hey, howdy, Mark. Hope your day is going smooth. So far, um, I didn't even derail this engine, but here we are. There is a derailed engine, the number two. Um, we, have a yeah. we have a two and three. <laughs> we don't have a number one. <laughs> the number two is, in fact, brown. Okay. And SolidWorks, oh, thank God you can have a break today. Wow. Wow. Thanks. Thanks. Rom the Cyborg. 
on a blast from the past, my friend. Congrats on 100K. I wish you could stick around for the inevitable railroad or shenanigans, but since you have to be off to work, I leave you with these good blessings. Good to see you, my friend. Thank you. 403 guy, congrats on 100K. My man, keep it up, Broham. Will do. Thank you. My call 1255. I joined in the economy breaking, but you spent all your money on model trains. Good man. Good, good, good man. Good pirate. <clears throat> Speaking of economy breaking, we have also abducted Ezekiel into the chat. Oh, hello. The economy hello. breaker himself. He speaks on stream. Anyway, uh, so if I, I'm trying not to just read through the tutorial because I think that's what all the other YouTubers who've played the game have done, and I played through it last night. Um, so we're not going to do that. Um, mm -hmm. we'll, we'll just take quick notes. Um, <clears throat> obviously, the said model stuff is not finished. So the models are being updated for 1.0 and, and early access. Um, <laughs> quick, quick to note that there's... Uh, it's just concrete backhead. It's a little goofy, and the tricocks are uh, a lot goofy, and the yeah, brake tri the brake stand is like is Bluetooth. That's, I was gonna say, don't fine. the tricocks have to be at different heights to actually be useful? Yeah, it's uh, they're working on that. I'm sure though, so that's fine. But it's kind of neat. You you just like walk into the seat, and then you sit in the seat, and it does the thing, and then you've got lean controls, which is nice, um, and then. We have whistles, which are fun. And then the neat thing, I actually do really appreciate the camera being so free and easy. You can sit here and float around and do kind of uh, over top operations and all that sort of stuff. So uh, we can run the train like that. I can see a couple more top chats coming in. So RC, you see high stream, I click. I see your three months to 20 months. I am happy. Congrats on 100K. Happy to be one of them. Three cheers for heist. Thank you, friend. And Warp the Fallout Synth and Oliver Davies, welcome to the conductors. And Jordan Freeman, go enjoy Dollywood. Don't don't worry about stream. There'll be a VOD. And Corvid Raven, very glad to be here. Hope you're all so happy for this game. I'm excited to try this um, in multiplayer because I haven't played it in multiplayer yet. Well, it smells like Kenosha just started playing, so that uh, <laughs> that does not bode well. Anyway. Look, if you, you've got a key. If you want to do multiplayer after you uh, play around the tutorial for everyone a little bit. Uh, we, we have a buppy we can play with the man the myth the legend the bupkis uh real quick i just want to acknowledge that bupkis name in this server is long hoof why does it keep why? changing <laughs> anything I with two syllables the server like once a month why does it keep changing <laughs> anything with two syllables i was I just gonna say would that be similar to a toe from an animal like you know say a dromedary does that mean I'm not kosher? <laughs> <laughs> These are important questions. SolidWorks, maybe I should break the economy as well. It'd be easier to tell Heisey sucks over voice. Who hurt you, SolidWorks? Heard about what's kosher? <laughs> wow. The fire. Uh, come on. Come on, train. I thought the Vatican didn't do that. You know, eh, it depends on what book well, you're reading. Well, the Vatican in Southern does. Yeah, we only really serve kosher meats on the Vatican in Southern. <laughs> <All right. laughs> no, no, no. Don't rotate. Speaking of lid. Go back. For, for lid. those who haven't seen the Vatican in Southern logo, I'm going to put it in VC text because I was up all night making it. It's, it's sick. Um, it's I good. may I may have broken the water column. No, okay, now it's working. Wait. Again. It stopped working for a second. Ezekiel! You're even in here right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you, Ezekiel. Well, it's, it's, thank you, my friend. And oh, stream great. elements, wake up and smell the coffee. I want to see the birds. We'll see I if that works. I want my bird. Anyway. Uh, okay, so we've rotated the water column, and then there is... Are we not spotted? Right. Okay, we're not quite spotted, I don't think, so... You do have 2,000 gallons, so what's the capacity on it? Uh, this is standard gauge, Goose. Welcome. I know. <laughs> I think it's three or 4,000 at least. So we'll get this filled up. <clears throat> Actually, hang on. Let me check the, uh, the sight glass. Yeah, it was about half glass in the boiler, so that means that the tender is at about 2,000 gallons, which means it's about 4,000 gallons. Wait, hold on. Why is the water glass going up? I don't agree with this design choice. In fact, I really don't like this design oh, choice. Does that read the tender? It does. Uh, what? 
that would typically read that would be for the boiler. boiler yes not the tender but there's not much steam sim going on so you weren't using it anyway shrug i don't so know so it's kind of like lionel <laughs> train town readouts where you just got water and fuel i guess pretty much okay. well, yep. is there, is there any they're going with steamer cutoffs into this uh not that i've been able to determine but we're gonna do the, wait did the tricox do anything like if you click around in the cab i don't think most of the controls in the cab do anything i don't okay. think that they're going for an actual like hardcore steam sim or train sim like it seems more oh. about the operations of the game because yeah if you you click on the tricox they don't do anything presumably you can cut out the brake stand, so they're, they're, they've got that figured out that Deer All Valley doesn't. Uh, you can't blow down the tender sight glass. Those, whatever the giant red so, handles are, don't do anything. There is, in fact, yellow inside the firebox, so there's that. Hold on, why is the cutout lever on the back head? Uh, because the brake stands are still Bluetooth. They said that they're working on that. Ah. Uh, there is a cylinder cock lever, which, uh, which does things, so that's exciting. Um, okay. And we're at zero boiler pressure right now, but uh, but that's fine. Okay, they're working on some stuff. They have a lot of little okay. details to clean up. It's all right. So, so <clears throat> movement is the focus, not Steam Sim. Uh, that's what it seems to me. So, Tyrion and Flynn, you should check out the different whistles. I don't know how to do that. I guess I should ask the Bup Kiss, seeing as we have him. Uh, uh, let me pop into Railroader <clears throat> just because that's easier for me to give you instructions on. Makes sense. And SolidWorks, I'm disgruntled computer program with an inefficient code. The programmers have infused their hatred of everyone into me. Uh, that makes a lot of sense. Wow, yeah. SolidWorks is becoming self-aware. Uh-oh. You love that. <laughs> um, so the, the whistles are actually kind of interesting. I don't know what whistle this is supposed to be. Some kind of five chime. Um, Derg five chime. Oh, that's a DNR jib. Okay. Sure, yes. Anyway, uh, you can press H to blow the whistle and then shift to quill it up which is one way to do it and then you can also if press you... v and then slowly actually just blow the whistle with the mouse which is um the feedback on it's kind of interesting because sometimes you don't know exactly where you are in the quill there's no feedback but it does mean that you can do cool things which is pretty neat i appreciate that there was there was time spent on that, so I like that. Anyway, we gotta go. Uh, we gotta go rescue our brown friend. So we're gonna go continue doing that. Uh, did we get full of coal? Yes, we have three and a half tons of coal. Cool. All right. If you wanna play with the whistles, you have to go into the. Uh, oh, I don't remember the official name for it. The uh, selector window. Oh, the inspector. Yeah, the inspector. Thank you. Okay. Uh, you're going to want to go to equipment. You get past the switch oh, yeah. here. Yep. Oh, I didn't clear it. I'm past the points, but I'm not clear. The detection must be a little bit further up. There it is. Yeah, let me go not crash into the brown train friend, and then and then we can play with whistles. There you go. Don't, don't crash into the brown train friend. Why are you running with the bar in the work? Uh, because it doesn't really matter. We make the lock. That locomotive is not an end of track device. <laughs> I mean, it might serve as one. You may want to move your face cam to the bottom right or top left. Just so it's out oh, of the way. yeah. I'm, I'm covering the UI, yeah. aren't I? Whoa! I've been moved across the screen. All right. Uh, warp the Fallout system something. Uh, the rest of your name got cut off. Thank, Congrats on 100K. Thank you for getting you back into trains. Whenever you need a good laugh, you'll always just pull up one of the Dear All Valley videos. I'm glad. And Rusty Rails Productions. One year, time flies. Here's to another. You're looking forward to this game. Just need to get your gaming PC back and operational. Awesome. Okay. Uh, so yes, we're here. We'll we'll uh, we'll rerail our sad friend in just a second. So uh, control click to pull up the inspector equipment. Customize. Customize. Ah. And then you should have a whistle tab there. Ah, it's a DNRG step top five. Right. 
Braden Dosh. Uh, another month? You haven't had to pay for it. You love to see it. Oh, boy. Okay. Uh, so we have lots of options here. That's fun. Uh, including some one chimes. That's not how that works, but that's okay. How about a standard three chime? Why not? Okay. The C and J three, everyone's favorite. Okay. Star Brass five. That sounds decent. Ew, that one's gross. What? I like that one. Hey, oh. I recognize that hey. one. Hey. That is a pitch shifted. That is. That got Dopplered for sure. No, nah, at full cool, it's about right. I mean, it's it's okay. Reading six. Oh. Hi, hi, twenty one oh two. How are you? That one's a fun yeah. one. Do it. The quill range in general is too big on every single whistle, as far as I can tell. But that's okay. Um, most games get whistles very, very, very wrong. And just because these aren't living up to my absurd expectations as a um, very opinionated audio engineer <laughs> does not make them not the best that's on the market right now. So there's a lot of options in there. I think I'm going to leave with the Reading 6, though. That's nice. Yeah. <laughs> Do it. I, think I, I love the, the tiny option. 260 with the Reading 6. That's uh that's fun. I don't give a damn what, what the engine is. I want the whistle to sound nice. <laughs> Just imagine like you're standing down the canyon somewhere or the valley and you see a big moon whistle. There's just this dinky little like 1890s built mobile. Okay, I, I wish I had a video of this moment specifically, but we ran 346 with a um, SP6 chime on it the one time. And Brett, oh Brett got to run it as like his first time running an engine around the museum. Just light engine. And she's coming up through the cut, just going, bah, 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 and he gives a big warning whistle on the SP6, and it's like, oh man, SP2472 is about to fly by with 13 coaches behind it doing 50. <laughs> and then it's just fucking 346 <laughs> doing 10 miles an hour, and it's just like, oh, that's a very small choo choo. Thank you. Okay. <laughs> anyway, let me hop back in this choo choo here. Patunk. All right. Uh, oh and then... great! I, I need to I need to name the character because we have a successor to John Railroads in finally. It's true. Okay, kick that off, and we'll just gently go bump into this, into our other friend here, and we gotta take it. Hi, my name is Eugene Spike Mall. <laughs> Eugene <laughs> Spike Mall. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> that is pretty good. <laughs> I do like uh, the satisfying dunk sounds. The dunk sounds, I, I enjoy that. That's nice. Westside right, Nine, why was the crematorium fun. worker sad? He was fired. Yes. Baxterville, new choo choo game that looked like Century of Steam. Uh, please don't insult me on stream. Thanks. Uh, 94 Chevy Z71, welcome to the conductors. And True Nub Gaming, I was wondering if you got this. This looks pretty good. They seem to have done a really good job on the operations that you've seen. Enjoy and cheers. Thank you. Um, the, the operations seem kind of fun. Uh, from the, the actual like locomotive sim side, uh, I mean, it, it doesn't really do a locomotive sim thing, which is fine. Not every game has to be about perfectly simulating the steam engine. Um, Ops-wise, I mean, it, you move cars around, and I, I did a little bit last night, and it seemed pretty decent. I'm interested to see how it is in multiplayer, because uh, single player, it was a little odd, I think, just by yourself. Hello, Shufflu. Yep. Do multiplayer games start out in the same scenario kind of deal, or is that starting differently? Um, as of right now, I think they start in the same scenario. I have no idea what the future plans are. Okay. And I don't think I can actually speak on it. So. so is this like a world that could be joined, or how does multiplayer work? Um, you do have to set up, uh, 
a, a dedicated multiplayer session. Gotcha. Okay, so I, I have like to select menu. it. You would have to you'd have to go back out in the main menu, hit multiplayer, select the world you want to be multiplayer, and then boot it up that way. Got it. But I could select a save that I already had, presumably. Uh, yes. Okay, that's cool. And well, person, that's how we've been fun, Vatican and Seven. fun to watch a stream while in the cab of a steam locomotive, being fired up for your Christmas trains tomorrow. You posted some videos from test runs yesterday in the Engine Crew Discord. I'll have to check those. Thanks, man. James King Lion, thank you for upgrading to the conductors. Let me get the brakes on here because we're almost to the shop. <laughs> also, this is a dumb nerdy detail, um, but it does kind of kill me that the independent brake goes up to 72 pounds. That's, uh, that's standard for a modern diesel locomotive, not for a steam locomotive. Steam locomotives are usually 45 say, to 50. Yeah. That's a nerdy detail. Um, if you were gonna pick a number, I don't know why you wouldn't just pick the correct number, but that's okay. <clears throat> I mean, there are diesels in this game, to be fair. Yeah, but they're probably dual class brake rigging diesels that are probably also that's... forty-five pounds. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine. I mean, I mean, you, you said if you do more than like forty-five, fifty, you'll just lock the wheels up. And yeah, you set you set the feed valve. Yeah, so seventy-two would be absurd. But anyway. Uh, random snack. Will we ever get a heist con collab on Rare Rotor? It is multiplayer, uh, and the multiplayer is pr apparently stable, so um, I would hope so. Hopefully, we can get con in. Corey Gibson, question How many watts do the dynamos normally put out? Uh, depends on the dynamo, um, but um, uh, I can't tell you what model dynamo that is because it is just a cylinder. Anyway, uh, on like a normal small pile national dynamo, like a K. Uh, a K type that we have on the engines. Um, there are 32 volts DC, and they put out like 36 amps DC. So do that math. Lots. Many in the hundreds of watts. So. And James King Lion upgrading to the fireman. Oh god, now there's birds! There's birds! Everybody's heard about the bird. <laughs> I see Nathaniel Lombardi gifted five memberships, but somebody must have just done 50 because the birds are running across the stream. Chris Gill! There it is! Hey, Chris. Thank you. Uh, somebody did the math, and apparently it's 1,152 watts. Okay, so that's more than a couple hundred. So, yeah. You are pulling 700 viewers right now. Oh, it's a new game, man. It's exciting. Okay, yeah. uh, there Double is <laughs> there is a menu <laughs> to interact with the shop. We have to hire a shop worker, and I don't remember what the button is. Uh, Nathaniel Lombardi Press with... F to hire I'm... shop. Uh, something like that. Uh... Oh, you have to go to locations. Uh, yep. East Whittier Engine Service. We're gonna hire a shop crew. Oh god, there's more birds! Ezekiel! There is a time to complete this. <laughs> so you can see how about how long it'll take with the amount of work. Is that in-game time, I assume? Uh, yes. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> now, make sure you don't have your game time set to one-to-one. -to -one. Ah, yes, that would, in fact, do it. Okay. Um, all right. So we got Chris Gill, Nathaniel Lombardi you're watching while working a closing shift at Duncan. I guess it would be closing time there. And then Ezekiel with that other 50. You're ridiculous, my friend. Thank you so much. Um, and You're welcome. Beta Gaming HD 1. Yo, Heist, how's it going? Thoughts on Lethal Company. I'm not familiar with that. And RS Fast Lane. Oh, we gotta 11. play that game for bones. Welcome to the break, man. And then the economy. God damn it! Thank you, the economy. You're broken. You've been broken here. William Adams, you want the Australian coffee pot whistle in here? Uh, I don't think we have that option. I don't think there's. Uh, let's see. I like the Reading Six. Um, there, there is. The Maryland Three's good. Is that? Let's try that one. It's a handbell long cock. Mm, everyone loves it. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's not how that works. Anyway, I'm going to stick with the Reading 6 because I have a personal favorite. All right, anyway, so our choo choo's now being fixed. So we got to pull off of it. Um, We have to uncouple somehow. And then go do other things. Am I stupid? Just click the couplers. Coupler, not that lever. Right, that's how that works. Okay. 
Just stick your hand in there real good. Just and... just put just put <laughs> it in there real said. real real nice. Oh, okay. Geez. Don't worry. It's just called automatic Lincoln. <laughs> Why does Abraham Lincoln have a pin? Oh hey, Shut look up. they uh, they changed the whistle model for the Reading Six to the wrong six chime, so that's cool. They tried. Whistle model changes. It's cool. It does. It it is no, different. Yeah, at least it, it changes. It is. It, is, it, uh, flat top, it does have six chimes now, but it, that is uh, an SP or an eighth and six. Again, nerdy details over here, and they did say that they are working on models still, and so the, some of those things are going to be changed for the full version or even the actual early access release. This is early, early access, so pre-early access yep it's the streamer access <laughs> yep. okay so we're gonna grab this hopper here and then we have to set it up to be picked up uh at interchange in two weeks you too can play this game hey why don't you have the headlight on i don't know because i don't remember what button turns the headlight on all right J zero on a controller usually. J. all right <laughs> that actually looks pretty good <laughs> I don't mind that at all. Okay, so there is an I, and I when I played last night, I did struggle with this quite a bit. Um, that this is the interchange yard back here, apparently mm -hmm. going that way. Um, I I had a hell of a time trying to figure out what track I was supposed to leave this on. Because there is this tab mode, and this is my biggest suggestion that I could make to uh, Adam and company. When you have the tab mode and it gives you the labels of all the trains, it should give you the labels of all the tracks too. Because the tracks have names, and there's like loading zones next to the stations. Um, and being able to just see that when you press tab would just be way too nice and straightforward. So, Do I you know how to see that with the... With the uh main menu here uh no i don't <laughs> oh if you go into locations okay which is here locations hang on a nope hang on i'm wrong give me a second it's somewhere in this pile of menus <laughs> yeah it's it's, it's it's still being worked on in terms of menu but like oh yeah here we go if you hover over like if you go into into the locations menu click on east Whittier interchange and then hover over ah. your interchange on the right. You okay, can so it, see where the it can be are. either of those either of those tracks then. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Just make that happen with the tab menu. Save everybody some trouble. That would be my my two cents. Anyway. So we've got a car. So uh, we want to pick up a coach and do some passenger service. Um, so we will do that. And, and then there's I have to do the confusing thing to the hopper. I have to tell it what it needs to do. So control click operations loads to the coal loader and empties to there so now it's got a way bill so now it knows that it needs to be interchanged loaded with coal and then get dumped here which was kind of not straightforward to figure out but um it's kind of a model railroad way bill thing which is kind of neat so all right let's go spot this thing Oh, I wanted to make a shout out to the train for today. And I, uh, I, I met the person that recognized me. Jersey, uh, your audio, audio, your audio is garbage and we can't understand what you're saying. Two bits. <laughs> Hold on. So your shout out, uh, while very thoughtful and nice, is unintelligible. <laughs> Whoopsie doodle. All right. Casually Dutch dropping. I have to say that the camera being uh, so easily read like readily usable as of WASD and everything, you can do all <laughs> kinds of stupid chicanery uh, with the the like wide cam, I, and I do enjoy that. So let's see. Is my audio better now? It's still pretty garbage. Ah oh, shit. But oh, that sounds like a car. Saying. Oh, oh. Uh, where is the handbrake? I'm on my phone, so that, there it that's, is. That's a good point of the <laughs> tie, tie that handbrake right there. Beautiful. There you go. Okay. Uh, and now we'll cut in the air over here. All right. And let's cut in all the way. All right. Well, we've cut our coach connected here. All right. Now we're going to go run to Ela and go pick up some passengers. 
Actually, I guess we're gonna run to the East Whittier Depot first and then run to Ela. The real life location, I believe, is actually Ella. Ella. Okay. Well, why not have two L's then? Confusing town uh, names. I don't know. That's screams. Yeah. It's the Southern. Who cares? <laughs> Let's see. All right, missed a couple of top tits here. So Farm Shop Chronicles, if a train game with stable multiplayer releases, the universe will probably explode. Uh, yeah, here's hoping that the multiplayer is good and also stable. Um, let's see. Southwestern Railfan, if you think this is night, wait, wait till Century Steam comes out. Also, it's you, Elon. Yes. Oh, you changed your name. Thank you, friend. And Southwestern, sorry, there's something wrong with your keyboard. It happens. It's all right. Thank you, friend. Looks like we're lined out. So. Hey, wait a minute. The the it, it it seems that the ties bend on the switches. Uh, don't look at the and ties they... too closely on any of the switches. Just okay. Oh, actually, there's more ties than were there last night. Last night there were not. There were lots of ties missing from the switches. That's um, kind of weird. It was kind of strange. That must be some sort of graphical bug. Connor, if you're watching. Uh, ran into that, but that was that was probably the biggest bug I ran into. So, yeah, that was no major bugs to report. So that's been that's been good. It's refreshing. <laughs> yeah, the, yeah. If that's the if that's the the one bug that I've run into in er, true early access, like early early access, that's not bad. Anyway, we got places to be here. Although I don't want to go too fast. Last night I went too fast around a curve and turned my train brown. So, we didn't like that. Yeah, squeaked out, yeah. I did. Can you control the train from the keyboard? Uh, I think so. I don't remember what the keys are. You can? I, I don't remember what they are either because I don't use the, gotcha. the keyboard control. I can look real quick. Corey Gibson, is this a horror game like Dear All Valley? I don't think it's a horror game, at least. So there's that. Is your time set to one to one? <laughs> we'll never find out. But my time slot like is. If you want to speed time up, I can walk you through it. I've got a grade crossing I'm blowing for right now. I do like this Reading Six. <laughs> That's very nice. I will I will award some points. Is it as nice as mine? No, but uh, I'm also a very opinionated audio engineer uh, person. So, anyways, just slam on the independent. There we go. We'll release the train, and uh, now we got to get the people on. Let's see. You can hover over the little station master window, and there's 24 passengers waiting to get on. Uh, so I have to click this, and then passengers. We're gonna go to e or Ela. Yes, yes, Ella. 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 That one. That one. Okay, and now passengers will get on. So that's exciting. Is changing the game speed change loading times, or not? I don't know. Okay. That's so a... the best thing it'll do is it'll change how fast your your locos repaired in the day night cycle. Right. Yeah, I think that's the... Uh, it's the definitely it not on one-to-one -one time, because in the upper right, you can see the seconds are going tick, 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 tick. So it, yeah, it's pretty Oh, you're quick. on uh, two-to-one. That seems about right. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, we can always sleep, too, which is a thing. So. Right. Got it. Southwestern Rail Fan, you went to Strasbourg Road in mid-October, and this was going to... And you were this close to going to the York train show. You could have met Puppy! Singletary. Yeah, I was there. He was there. It's true. All right, we uh we are full of all twenty four passengers, so I guess we will highball. And let's see. Uh, reverser, we have to weld to forty percent. That's the mythical number, apparently. And now we now we're doing the thing. Oh, your Discord stream is getting crackly. Thanks, Discord. Why 
Why is 40% the mythical number? Uh, apparently, from what I've heard, that is max power and max efficiency. And if I put it in the corner, I actually, the chuffs stop and I slow down right now with the throttle wide open and the bar in the corner. So you can't run fast with the bar in the corner because you can't because the game says you can't. Which is, uh, they're not doing Steam Sim stuff. That's not the point. So I will reserve that the cockatoo is internal. We're not letting the cockatoo out because that's not what they're trying to do. Let's see. Uh, Anthony, save. I'm not sure I follow. Okay, Wall Street reverse, then push forward. What happens? Uh, this is Stevenson gear. So, I don't know what you mean about Wall Shirts. Farm Shop Chronicles are the locomotives made by Bupkiss Works. I don't think Buppy would take uh, take ownership of these. <laughs> there's there's no are, the builder's plate is blank. They're not made by Bupkiss. He did not do much. If modeling. you if you go into the buy menu, how uh, do I do they that? They are made by I believe it's Shift T. Ah uh, yes. They are made by Atlantic, Atlantic Locomotive, locomotive Works. Works. I have $2,500, and these trains are all much more expensive than that, so. That is true. It's going to be a you minute before we. If you really want a new train. <laughs> I don't think I, I don't think I want to, uh, to sell things. No, I, I have, I have, anything? I guess we do have two choo-choos. We could sell one of the other engines, but. Could. But the real question is, do you buy the locomotives at Buppies? <laughs> that is the question. <laughs> the question of all time. Yeah, your your signature Buppies employee will uh, so will deliver glad. the locomotive to you. I'm so glad, Jake. You're gonna twenty bucks for that. It is it is so good. <laughs> that was okay. very good. Yeah, IDK, what's going on, channel? Hi, hi. So your mother's out of town with family. You've purchased a used acoustic base, and it should arrive tomorrow. What should I say to her to convince her it was a good purchase? Did you have one before? If you didn't. Now you've got a thing. Okay, here's our 30 mile an hour speed limit, so let me just set the brake pipe to something lower, and uh, there we go. Okay. Ah! Birds! Is he still? <laughs> Thank you, my friend. More birds. Yes. Oh god, the, the chat is going so fast that virtual rail fans' comments are just getting blown away. Currently on lunch right now, but you've been listening to the stream the entire time. Might uh, Maybe when you're not busy with retail work, you might be able to do a video of this when it comes out. Yeah? And, uh, of course, e Ezekiel, uh, is that 200 yet this stream? Because it feels like it has been. <laughs> maybe just 150. It, 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 I think it's 150. It's been 150 this Ca stream. Oh, casual, okay. Which... <laughs> Regardless, dude. Thank you, my friend. All right, station board. We're coming up to the station. Actually, it's 200. I just looked at it. At least we know who to blame when the stock market crashes. <laughs> Corey Gibson, this isn't a COS question. This is a question for the president of the Studio 346. That's Mark. He's not here. Sorry. Are you guys going to license out the Whistle Audio Tech? Uh, I don't believe so. We have not talked about that. Uh, I wouldn't uh, see any reason for us to do that. So. Okay. We are here at Ella, which I will pronounce correctly this time. And we've got the cutest little flag stop of a passenger depot here. And this is also one of the towns, uh, one of the biggest statements that's on the menu for this early access version right now is that um, there's really not a lot of buildings in a lot of places. So we'll pull up to the stop here, get that set up, release the train, jump out. Um, you can see that there's not really anything. There's kind of a freight house and then there's the little flag stop and then there's nothing else. So they're working on that. Oh, also, if you scroll the FOV all the way out, we're definitely playing Quake, and I'm here for <laughs> it. <laughs> Just bunny hops. Look at how fast we can go now. Yep. That's good. <laughs> That's good. Pro Quake stream. Okay. Uh, we're still unloading here. Let's check the car. We're going to tell the people that we're going to Whittier now, uh, so 
the uh, they will do the thing here. So now, uh, when all the people from Ella get off, it'll automatically uncheck that, which is nice, and then it just loads up. We made twenty four dollars, man. So it's only gonna take us, I don't know, a hundred, a hundred passenger cars back and forth between these locations to make less money than we have right now. That's fine. We'll yeah. see. It's gotta be other you stuff. You realize to move. that the. <laughs> The passenger operations on any railroad historically were not particularly profitable. That uh, that is what it's I'm being led to believe. It's all in the freight. The freight and the, the head-end freight would be the real thing to do. But anyway, well, the IDK was going on. You know how on. to get to the interchange and and accept contracts. Uh, I I've, I've figured out how to accept contracts the one time, which I need to do in a second. But let me get these top chats. Okay. You've not had one before. You're running out of places to put guitars. I know that feeling. Uh, you have a banjo, two acoustic guitars, and an electric guitar. Well, then you needed a bass. That's all you have to say. Southwestern Rail fan, also, please make sure to ask the guys at the Colorado Railroad Museum that next time you do a double header when you pass the crossings, both, both, both blow the whistle at the same time. That's just foamer stuff, man. That's not how that works. Yeah. And we haven't done a double header in a while. We posted pictures well! mockingly <laughs> that just, just to piss off the world famous Jeff Taylor, uh, <laughs> of us doubleheading yesterday. Funny. We did not actually doublehead, but uh, Tweetsie Railroad does those doubleheaders. Well, that, then they're just foaming. I mean, it's a good time, but that's just foaming. Okay, uh, I want to say... It was very funny to see 91 in helper service in front of 20. That was a little slick. You go to locations, and then I can click uh, contracts and just go sign the con press the button, and I get the contract, so... Uh, oh, correct. Farm supply is now getting a thing. Sawmill, why not? Let's just I'm just gonna click all of the contracts that I possibly can. And then and then we'll just figure that out. Yeah. Does that start the time limit on those then? I I assume so. Yeah, once you accept it, you you start the the uh Bayfish ninety one. When loco short line operations, uh I don't know. The the game's a shit post. We haven't played it in a long time, but I could be game. Okay, so now uh, to the horrified eyes of the ICC and all 20 of my 60 <laughs> passengers on board, um, I am going to bottle the air, and we're going to... Um, oh, I accidentally uncoupled the c cars because the hitbox between the angle cocks and the couplers is uh, strange. That's okay. Okay, air is cut out so we can pop the glad hands, which we'll just do manually. <laughs> oh, that's fun. And now we'll just bang into the car again. Bang. Grab okay. <laughs> yep. And uh, now we just do this real quick. Rather than running around the car, we're just going to be the best the best and worst railroaders all at the same time. Efficiency. This this is this is peak efficiency. Are you are you fine switching your passengers? Hell yeah! Yes. Hell yeah, brother! Man, two here. Uh, this is all marked wait, up. Looks like it's actually... in the clear. Looks like it's in the clear. Saw by! Got oh. it. Nailed it. It's fine. This is the ESDT, man. FRA! We don't need no stinking FRA. Alright, slam Come on, on the brakes. Make sure that the. Uh, Make sure that the locomotive's continuing to chuff when you stop. That's a very important step. And then uh, then we'll go pick oh, them up on the fly. Then you do this. <laughs> I think Jared's got the right idea. They're uh, running away. He's Get got em. five or six comments up if you look right now. They are, uh, they are running. I'm, I'm trying to chase down a passenger coach. I'm not really able to read stream to chat at the very it's moment got here. got swears in it. I can't A little read. busy at the moment. Okay, that, I mean, that was a bit of a spicy dunk, but that's fine. We, we, tiny bit of damage on we did, we did 4% of damage. That's not that bad. We had 4 and 3%. That's pretty, that's, that's pretty fine. They chose to ride the ES and DT. Okay, they're Look, they're not liable. I'm not like liable. Does. Okay, and so now that we've got places to be. Right? The, the, the hard knuckle, not knuckle because it's British. Okay, and uh, let's see. There's 30, so we'll just shut off and let it roll. Okay, and now we can get those comments. Uh, Southwestern, TBH, it's not foaming. They do it once a year. Oh, I see. Uh, it's, that's still foaming. Oh, and then uh, whose comment was I supposed to read, Mick, that you saw? 
that you wouldn't read because swearing bad or something. <laughs> Some Emperor of the North poo right there. Uh, but yeah, it is. It is, in poo. fact, <laughs> we're, in fact, running this railroad like it's the Emperor of the North. That's how I play train games. It's fine. It's and and, and I am insane. afforded great options by having a camera that can do this. Like, I'm just given too much power, which, uh, which I can appreciate, so. You haven't lived until you use the two camera to run three separate trains doing three separate jobs. That sounds like shenanigans. Oh, yes. Sounds like something we're down for. <laughs> <laughs> Nowhere, man. Hey, Mark, got snow. You're plowing four inch on the seven and a half inch gauge line right now. Uh, goodness. No, we don't have any snow right now. All the snow's gone away. It's not snowing here either, if anybody's concerned. So. Alright, here's our mythical 30. And we're doing basically 30, so we'll just kind of sit here. Anyone know any jokes? Yearly Jim is tell on stream. Oh, fair enough. Yeah. Yearly Jim is ninety eight. Yeah. Thought just came into my mind: Does the train bake apply the brakes on the locomotive, or is that only something the independent can control? In real life and in the game, yes, the automatic applies the locomotive as well. You can see as you apply the train brake that you get a little bit of an application in the uh, on the independent little gauge there. And I do actually really like the um, the little brake status indicator right here, up right up underneath the ES and DT. It shows you what each car in the train's doing, which is kind of neat. And uh, I guess I'm applying the automatic, not realizing that I still haven't tied the air back into this coach. It's fine. We don't need air. It's one. It's one car. Separation protection. Never heard of her. It's fine. Now, if you really wanted to, you can in fact bail off uh, once you apply the automatic brake by dragging the independent brake uh, all the way to the left. Back. Yeah. Okay, that's nice. It's nice that they have bail. I don't really like the uh, the way that the, the brake pipe is a thing. Um, because I'm me. I understand for people who are not air brake snobs that probably works quite well. But uh, it's a little annoying on my end. But the fact that you can bail is nice. Corey Gibson, a truck carrying Vic's vapor rub has crashed on the highway. Police say there's no congestion near the scene. <laughs> there you go. Beautiful. Uh, Thank you, friend. Uh, Limes. And Virtual Rail Fan Productions in Palpatine was I am the FRA. I am the Dead men tell no tales. Yeah, Cowboy Civ. Why, hello there. This game looks like a blast. Uh, so far, so good. I want to play it multiplayer. We'll probably do that tomorrow. So. Just slam on the independent here. We're not going to overshoot the platform, I promise. This is just peak fun. peak train handling. Perfect. <laughs> yes, there we go. Uh, let's see. Uh, Makos Tejta, a couch manufacturer, was summoned to court. The defense rests. Limes. And Dustin TLE, hey guys, just joined the stream while you're on at work on break. How's the game so far? Congrats on 100k. Sorry, I'm a little late. No worries, my friend. Um, the game so far, I mean, it, it does some things interestingly. Um, it does some things pretty fun. It makes some of the ops pretty cool. Um, I am a little worried that it is uh, the typical train sim digital scenery simulator here. 
Like, running between Ella and East Whittier was just like, okay, throttle's set, and now we're bored. Um, which a lot of train sims end up doing. So, shrug. We'll have to see how that progresses. Uh, they said that a lot of stuff is not finalized, and a lot more changes are to be made. Um, so, I have hope. But, I mean, it's decently fun. There's some cool stuff that you can do right away. So, uh, we're, we're learning here. Star Lord 1732, what will the biggest loco be in the game? I have no idea. Presumably Buffy knows, but I don't know. Nah, what? Biggest hmm. locomotive? Um, probably the Big Emma. Big Emma? Burke. Ooh. I like a Burke. <laughs> More jokes. Corey Gibson, what do you call a dog with no legs? It doesn't matter what you call him, he's not coming. Oh, that's, that's a little sad. <laughs> no. Malevolent no Jester, what do you call a locomotive that caught a cold? A choo choo train. A choo choo train, yes. Thank you. Limes. Yep. All right, well, we're going to run this thing back to the uh, the shop here, and then we'll go, uh, we'll sleep, and then we'll put. Um, stuff in places so that we can get up both of our engines ready and then we'll kind of see what goes on from there. Well, if you want to help the sawmill industry along, there is one more thing you can do before you go to sleep. Oh, really? Okay. Yep. Uh, as you pass the sawmill, you're going to see a siding that goes by a log pond. You should okay. see some skeleton flats there. Yep. You should be able to assign those to uh, some logging camp tracks. Oh, and then take those, those to interchange? The or, uh, oh, uh, there is a logging camp. You take them up camp. to the logging camp. Okay. Drop cool. them off there. They'll be loaded up with logs. Then you can sleep and bring them back down in the morning. Cool. Well, let's do that. We've been birded. Okay, let me pull up and stop here and then catch the rest of these. Okay. Uh, Capybara Gyoza Thief. Don't you steal my gyoza. Gyoza's so tasty. But thank you for the $10. Uh, and then Corey Gibson, as you get older, you think about all the people you lost along the way. Maybe my career as a prison guard was not the right choice. <laughs> <laughs> You're just knocking him out of the park here. And then, of course, Ezekiel, <laughs> with another 50 memberships, my friend. You are out of control, and I, I thank you. Oh, God, and Corey Gibson's gifted 50. <laughs> Stream Elements hasn't even gotten through the first 50. <laughs> oh, my so God. We're, we're, getting, we're getting birded to death. All right, so I see the skeleton flats. We're going to go bang into them. Oh, there's the birds. There they are. <laughs> Yes, thank you, my friends. Uh, the, the economy is destroyed. Corey Gibson, thank you. Okay, kid, hey, Heist, could you play with me when the game is out? I don't know. I try not to promise people multiplayer sessions and things because my schedule is a dumpster fire. So, possibly, possibly not. We'll have to see. I also don't know how many players the, the game is stable with, so... Corey, there's a fine line between a numerator and a denominator. There is. Correct. But also, limes. Bang. Got him. Looks like we got all of them. We probably should charge the air on this. This is actually, this is the it's most car, idea. this is the most cars I've ever run on this, uh, in this game. Okay. Okay. Uh, where is logging camp? That Y there, right before you head into Whittier proper. Okay, so up up that way. Connolly? Up that way. Okay. Connolly logging, yep. 
Okay. Oh, I didn't no. want to. Well, I guess we can. Eh, I don't know. You can shove it. I could shove it. You could make life easy and shove it. I could, but I, I've also been given the best tools to do all of the stupid Dutch drops in the universe here. I want to see you do a Dutch drop uphill. Uphill? Yeah, you're going into the mountains, man. If okay. You're feeling, if you're feeling lucky. So I should shove right now, for now, and then Dutch drop later? Is that what you're telling this me? Is, this is, you, you run it, do it the way you want. <laughs> I, I believe in you. Well, I'm running out of runway bef before I run out of tracks to put stuff in. We might as well here. Uh, let's see. Pop that. Oh, getting angle cocks on the fly is the hard part, though. Yeah. Oh, now everything's Con dumped. Wants to know when you're playing with him. Con wants to know when he's play. Oh, when Con when does Con get a key? If Con got a I key, I mean, come on. All right, those stopped super nice. We shouldn't have charged the air up. That was a mistake. Never charge the air up. <laughs> Trains don't need air. What are you talking about? Pumps? I don't know if they are. Chris Kill. Pumps? Khan is in the chat. He asked when you guys were playing this together. Uh, yeah. Like I said, if Khan got a key, we could play it right now, today. But I don't know if Khan got a key as well. So... Bang. I guess we have to hook the air back up to charge things up, and then we'll bottle it, and then we'll and then we'll Dutch drop it. Angle cock. Thank you. <laughs> Jesus. Mine's Make us touch the re record length cut. You say, <laughs> why wouldn't you shove them without air at that? <laughs> I missed, I think I picked up on what was said and I'm glad that I missed it. <laughs> Sean J Animations. Hey Mark, just got here. How are you liking Railroader? I hope you're doing well. Thank you. Uh, Railroader is, it's it's a game. Uh, there, there are some goofy things that it's done that I don't really like. Um, there's a lot of nitpicky, like assholey steam engine guy stuff that I really hate. But I'm trying not to comment on because a lot of it's like model stuff and they're still working on that stuff. So I'm trying to be uh, kind here. Um, and then there's some stuff that's pretty neat. The fly camera is pretty great. The, whist the uh, whistle slider is kind of cool. Um, so there's there's goods and bads, ups and downs. So Michael Hayes, thank you. Just thank you. Oh, thanks, friend. Okay. Uh, so now let's see. We'll line me into the coal hopper. We'll line that that way and now the operation is full send in reverse um and then just hope that i don't annihilate the coal hopper and that i don't get stuck okay 15 mile an hour ought to be enough get some separation oh boy this is gonna be sketch this is gonna be sketch this is gonna be sketch all right switch is thrown full forwards full break Coal hoppers, fear me! Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh beautiful. Just perfection. Welcome to the ES and DT. Uh are there handbrakes on these? Yes there are. Yeah. Can I can I can I I guess we'll go chase those down. You can do it down. from the inspector window. You can do it from the inspector window. Oh, that would probably be one. easier. It's fine. Uh, just out of curiosity, how long are we going to be spending for? I don't know. Probably another hour or two? In amount of time. Okay, I just going to go. I may need to step up. <coughs> okay, these cars are just rolling till the end of time. Whee! Yeah. That was the strategy. <laughs> See, now everything's dumped. <laughs> I didn't realize you had uncoupled something. <laughs> yeah, that's the strategy right there. It's fine. <laughs> okay, these these goofy these goofy switch maneuvers are are fun. Yeah. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh, ouch! 
It's fine. Oh. It's fine. Oh, minor miracle there. Okay. It's fine. See, we only did like 6% damage. It's fine. What do you do with damaged cars? Is there a car shop or do they just go to the shop shop? Uh, they just go to the shop shop. Okay. And you have to switch them out? Okay. Well, that's... That's a thing. All right, let's charge the air up now. Okay, now that we've put this whole mess together. Uh, do we grab the caboose? There's no need, like, need for a caboose, but we could grab it. We could wait a few hours, wait till night, and then you'd have to put markers out that you'd need a caboose. Uh, there is there is a reason for the caboose. It's not just a MacGuffin. Corey Gibson, since I missed it, why did the ghost go to the bar for the booze? Limes. <laughs> Limes. Now, as you're as you're working your way up to the logging camp here, if you go into locations and select Connolly Creek, you'll see all these different tracks, and it'll show you which cars or which tracks produce what cars and how much of those cars. Ah. So you can choose which uh, siding to drop it off at. I see. Okay. So. Loads to Whittier Sawmill of the L1, L2, and L3, but I gotta figure out those locations, uh, which is Connolly Creek. Okay, we need logs, and they all do 12 cars a day. Yep. Okay, so we'll just set them but out. They all are different on... sizes, so you might have to. Oh, okay. Move things around. How to, is there no way to glean that information? You can uh, see the little arrow next to where it says like L1. For oh example. crap! Oh. Sorry, we're paying attention. We're paying lots yep. of attention. Yep. You're These good. skeleton cars are not that heavy. Come on, you would not have any problem stopping that with just your independent brake. Anyway, um, now that we're not gonna go run off into track. <laughs> Oh, if you, you click, click the... that little arrow. It'll take you to the track. Okay, we'll do that once uh, once we're not like swinging for the fences. When we're not trying to become the train in the lake. A different Corey Gibson <laughs> <laughs> chatting two Canadian dollars. Thank you, friend. We've got now the uh, two of them. This is getting out of hand. Okay, did I miss anybody else, or there's just a bunch of limes? Just a bunch of limes. Okay. My call 1255, just 6%. That's normal wear and tear on the ES and DT. Exactly. Virtual Royal Fan, it seems like Anglecocks are the bane of Heist's existence. Yeah, the hitbox is a little jank, if I'm honest. Um, Make Ghost Testa, there will be no other opportunities to one-up Corey. Ghost trains cannot run night or day without a cup. Booze. Very good. Khan asked the dev for a key. If this is multiplayer, Ooh. we need to do some stuff. It's true. If this is multiplayer, I could save this session right now and we could play multiplayer like right now. So, yep. Corey Gibson, why was the child's blanket arrested for being an accessory to a kidnapping? Lies! <laughs> and Trunub Gaming, he's gonna highball in the ad! Yes. And Gamer Boy, you want some CAD? Always, as long as it's not SolidWorks. Thank you, my friend. All right, so we gotta go left here at the Y. Yep. So I guess we ought to line that switch. That looks spicy, 25, okay. Okay, it wasn't a super chat, but I just saw a gem in chat. Strange women lying in ponds distributing coveralls. It's no basis for a system of train operations. <laughs> that is beautiful. <laughs> that is perfection. All right, pinch it down to 25. All right, just sneak through there. Uh, and now we'll give it some speed. Okay. Corey Gibson, there's an imposter in chat. <laughs> now there's two of them. Okay. Oh, L1 is small. L2 is big. Oh, oh yeah, never mind. L3 is... It looks like L2 is the longest track. 
So we'll say L2. Is there a way to snap back to my train? Um, If you're sitting in the seat and have it selected, you should be able to hit zero. And it'll snap you back. There we go. Okay. Which so one we... did you decide on? L2. <laughs> oh, but wise man of wisdom. Why should I not pick L2? I am I am not telling you anything. I want you, you to just do it. Okay. All right. Uh, copy to coupled. Okay, that was nice. I was worried that I was going to have to do a bunch of that menuing, but copy to coupled is nice. Okay. Corey Gibson, I told my mom she should embrace her mistakes. She gave me a hug. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Damn. See, I would say I can relate, but that was very much intentional. <laughs> I was premeditated. You very much were. You came from a tube. I did. Zach, don't we need E minor chords? What do you mean? I don't follow. Oh, this is some squiggly ass track up here. With no speed change, so I'm just gonna shut down. Let's just take a wild guess. Eh, probably I'm sure 20. You'll be fine. All right, 23 made some squealy sounds. I hopefully didn't turn my train brown. Nope, it's not turning brown, so that's fine. Okay. Uh, ah, mm hmm. Okay, we're coming up to a location. You haven't derailed yet, have you? Nope. We gotta fix that. I know. I'm not oh, yeah. sure if I, sh <laughs> if I should be surprised or proud. I, d I got my derailing out last night. <laughs> Which track is it? L2, that one. Okay. That one. That one. That seems. I mean, we could run around the train right now, but we choose stupidity on this railroad. I'm back. We're about to do the big stupid jersey. How? Back. What kind about of? About to do a flying stupid. switch uphill. We're, yeah, fl oh uphill flying God. switch. That is, that it's the ESNDT jersey. What did you expect? I know. I know. I know. Is there any other way to close angle cocks on the fly that's easier? Um, get out and go get them yourself you, like a man. Got it. <laughs> if you if you have the air hose undone as well. Oh no. Oh, you mean okay. Never mind. You mean uh, cut them out. I mean, what's the phrase, Mark? We die like. We die like men. That's precise. It's there you very go. true. All right. So that's L two oh, right there. Uh, oh God, <laughs> we could. Uh, this is this is the dumbest. This is so uh -oh. dumb. This is the stupidest dumb that I, we're gonna do. We have we have know. this much of a break <laughs> breaking zone. It's fine. I, I oh, just want to let chat fool. know you're about to do a flying switch up at two and a half percent. It's fine. We're doing thirty mile an hour. <laughs> you gotta do the you got it in thirty. Oh, the big whistle. Also, I I, I want to just point out Armagon complimenting the thing that I made. It's the highlight of my day. Because he picked, of course, he picked up on the Schenectady vibe. <laughs> All right, uh, we gotta like keep pulling these to like the very end, but. All right, I'm gonna I'm gonna break the joint Dump. here. <laughs> Bye, cars. Run, 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 run. Girl, it. It's fine. 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 
I, I haven't oh. bit my nails in years. You just made me bite my nails for the first time in years. Oh my god, Jeez. you did it. Are you gonna make I'm, it? I don't know if they're gonna I, clear. I don't know if gonna they're clear? gonna clear. Oh my god. Oh they yeah! Are... Oh, oh yeah! Clearing. Oh yeah! Oh. Welcome to the yes. ESDT! Wait, wait, are they ye, spotted? Ye of little are they, faith. Are they spotted? Well, I'm gonna just let them roll. I'm just gonna keep letting them roll. Yep, you got it. You got it. Handbrakes tied. I... Holy <laughs> I can't shit. can't believe it. Where is your god now? Okay. I feel better Holy about this game shit. now that you I've done it. some really stupid shit in it. <laughs> Who the hell just played the train town spotting thing? Who do you think? Uh, you've got a new load available. You have a new delivery. <laughs> oh my God. Okay, now now that uh, now that we've shit posted our way to loading logs, uh, let me check the chat. <laughs> that was God. Michael Adkins is two hundred zeros a lot behind a decimal point? No, above Pearl Harbor, yes. Oh, 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 oh. 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 Corey Gibson, how many oh. software engineers does it take to change a light bulb? None. That's a hardware issue. Uh, at Tristan. There you go. <laughs> oh my god. I see <laughs> That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> Roscoe Montana precision scheduled railroading. Eat your heart out. Yes. And Ezekiel, thank you, my friend. As always. Um... I need to go horse like a piss race in the uh, the great words of Wings and Strings. So entertain the chat. I guess the hey, logs are... they don't need to know about that. Log... <laughs> <laughs> you horsing like a piss race? It's fine. Uh, logs are, in fact, loading. I don't know how long they take to load, so we'll just sit here and, uh, and let that happen while I go use the restroom. So uh, I'll be right back. Uh, story time, I guess. Um, <laughs> oh boy! Yeah, when we were uh, in crunch for getting stuff ready for the demo, uh, we were up until like nine in the mornings on several days in a row. And at that point, your brain just kind of shuts down in places and keeps only what's necessary for you to not die. And uh, yeah, the words came out bad. <laughs> I tried to say I had to piss like a racehorse, and uh, brain decided to uh, be creative in the order of operations there. Fun. And they have never let me live it down. And they probably never will. Nope. No, we have not. It'll probably be the epitaph on my damn tombstone. I mean, the the logical next step is race like a horse piss. As far as the things that go on your tombstone go, that's a pretty good one, just saying. Yeah, it'll, it'll be fun for, like, archaeologists 500 years from now. They'll look at that <laughs> exhaled quickly. I think mine's going to be uh, whoever gets to me first gets a copy of Mario Kart Double Dash. All right, I'm back. My Are you going to bury 100. yourself with a copy of Mario Kart Double Dash Bupkis? No, it would just be really funny to watch people frantically dig at where I'm buried. <laughs> <laughs> I've already decided when I die, I'm, I'm going to make a okay. hundred people fight in a gladiator match. For so the <laughs> these these cars have 0. 0.4 logs, so it takes, it takes a while to load. So I guess the thought is to leave them and come back and get them later. Yeah. Um, would it make sense to sleep here? It would make sense to, to make sure you're ready to sleep. So, like, making sure you have enough people hired in your shop to repair your lo other locomotive. Uh, there uh, is one person in the shop, I think. Okay. There's, there's at least one. I hired one person. Okay. What about second person? I don't know. Or is Let's this go. the Colorado Railroad <laughs> Museum where we only have, like, three shop staff? Uh, your East Whittier engine service has no people. I had I said oh tomorrow there'll be two, because I I haven't yeah. they start on the whatever you hit the hire button so just you you are now you've now hired you're hired you have hired okay <laughs> I think I think two is probably two fine. two should be fine it'll take a day to complete two is fine 
Yeah, you can you can just sleep through if you want. Okay. Well, let me uh let me uh, where where is the sleep button? Where there? Uh, in settings. Settings. Aha. Sleep. sleep. Okay, and we have no caboose, so that's gonna be fine. Welcome to six in the morning. Ah, uh, yes. Now it's dark, and I can see that I haven't cleaned my monitor in weeks. Cool. <laughs> uh, let, me, let, me, let me get these top chats here that I've missed, and then we'll we'll do this. Do the thing here. Let's see. Yeah, Ezekiel. Thank you, friend. Okay. Brill Bus Boot Camp. Brill! Wow, that was some major league railroading. Love the train town <laughs> voice acting. You need to do the voice when you remake the game. If not if, when. Uh, don't you talk about Tristan and I's secret projects. Shush. Uh, oh, good. He's mute deafened. Corey Gibson, you used to play guitar by ear, but now you use your hands. Limes. <laughs> That's just impressive. That Forget is, a joke. That is impressive. JC Vandrimolin. Drimolin? Sorry about that. Uh, any chance I'm working at the museum tomorrow? Uh, no, I'm off tomorrow. Uh, I will be working the Polar <laughs> Express on Monday. Know. I had to know. <laughs> and my call 1255 heist pro shunter extraordinaire. That move was incredible. Screw my wallet. You deserve this. Thank you, friend. You, you're blowing up the tank cars in Dural Valley for me. Thank you. Um, I have to say, I was a little underwhelmed playing last night, just running one engine and like a couple cars being like, oh my God, it's just digital scenery simulator. But now having done this bullshit... Now I understand the appeal. Switching shenanigans. That's the point. I'm gonna do I'm gonna do some sketchy shit. Hope I get do away da, with it. Do yep. da. Do da. Yeah, big whistle. <laughs> big whistle, yeah. small train. It's my favorite, favorite arrangement here. Alright, so we're gonna big get engines, these little men. <laughs> yes. Big <laughs> engines, little men. <laughs> okay, so little man. I've got the, the plan of all time for how we're going to do do stuff with these cars. I'm so excited. It's probably not advisable what I'm going to do, but we're going to try it. Come Santa Claus here. Come Santa Claus. I'm pretty sure that's copyright. No. Yeah. Yep. Doesn't totally matter. Stream's not monetized. That. Yeah, I don't monetize streams. Oh, because, right. Yeah. Right. You played the Cars Muffler in a movie once. It was exhausting. Corey, how many of these do you have? <laughs> Are you a dad? You must be a dad. This is my uh, step ladder. All right, so... I never knew my real ladder. Uh, shut up, Jersey. <laughs> <laughs> and bang. All right, see, you can see that those cars are all set up because we dumped the air and the, they're not clapped out wooden narrow gauge cars. So that's cool. They, they uh, retained their set overnight. So we'll let them bleed off that way. And then we'll kick off the handbrake, which is the purple one. Okay. A trick for you when you're doing the air hoses to make them slightly easier. Sure. If you shift click on the glad hands, it does the angle cocks for you. Oh, really? Mm -hmm. That is handy. And I'm, I'm once again trying to cut out the air for shenanigans. And I, I, I desire bigger hitbox on the angle cocks. There we go. Anyway. Curry Gibson, I told the doctor I broke my arm in two places. He told me to stop going to those places. I guess. All of the limes. Wait, why has it got the Wonka Dunk for a single stage? Yeah, it's a single stage that, pump, and it's yeah, and it sounds true. like a cross compound. It's it's fine, it's fine. The don't look at the the single stage either. The modeling is. Uh, we're not commenting on the models because the models are temporary, according to the messaging from the devs. Um, if they would like me to give them the uh, the high litany of all the problems with their models, I would be happy to consult because there's lots. But uh, I don't feel the need to. Uh, poop all over this game in this moment so i'm enjoying switching shenanigan shenanigans right now that curve looks spicy we're gonna we're gonna set some air up 20 minutes roger oh that's steep hill set up a lot of air uh, tomorrow i finally get to run the d10 yay yay 
Uh, uh, th nobody's been posting videos of those things. I, I don't. I don't know if like I got a fluke and mine arrived stupid early. I but, mean, like, there's no videos. Train Train World <laughs> shipping to you is uh, pretty close. Okay, thirty miles. So, <laughs> so we line the switch there. We're gonna we're gonna get we're gonna drop the cars behind us, and then let them run through the siding past us. So, by by cars, by if I can pull away from them, I really can't advise doing switching maneuvers like this. Uh, this is probably not a safe speed to go through these switches at. Somebody it's fine. The last one, so they'll just clip this one too. But if you bend it, it'll be funnier. Ah! Yep, that's bend. <laughs> oh. It's fine. It's still on the tracks. Uh, the cars are still going. Um. Okay. Select. Uh, apply the the handbrake. Follow. Um. Can we? I'm just. Uh. Can we open an angle cock? Can we save the loads? Share the load. There we go. Dump the air there. Yeah, I should have realized that it was <laughs> that I was going to be a little spicy through those switches. Eighty-six uh, percent, but it's derailed. Yeah, it's fine. All right, adorably cute picture going in DC text. <laughs> Chris Gill, he's <laughs> gets his jokes from the database. You guys, limes, thank you. Eric Banano, how, how does a steam engine drink like water? It chuggas it. God damn Sega it. Sega Jersey? How many calories in that guy? Uh, no idea. He's maybe like five pounds. How many calories? Five pounds? Five pounds? How many, how many calories? Tunk. Five pound cat. How many Tunk. calories? Tunk. Uh, and Corey Gibson, doctor, you're obese. Patient, I want a second opinion. You're also stupid. <laughs> <laughs> that one got a genuine chuckle out of me. Good. A okay. lawyer walks into the bar. He passes. <laughs> God, not a person. I hate God you. Damn it. <laughs> Man walks into a bar and says, ow. I sure hope he does. All right, those cars stopped, right? We don't just have a radical terrorist set of log cars. Okay. Patrick G, 1902. A five-pound cat that's tiny. Fuzzy, your main coon is 30. That's a giant cat. That's ridiculous. Uh, also, keep in mind that my cat is maybe seven or eight months old. Railman, 1225. Hey, Heis, and I arrived in time to see the aftermath of Kenosha. Anyway, I saw a name suggestion on Discord for our new character and wanted to post it here. I present James Trainmasterton. No. We don't approve. No. I like no. Eugene Spike Ball. Eugene Spike Ball is pretty Spike cool. Eugene Spike Ball is fucking great. Corey Gibson, why do programmers prefer dark mode? Because light attracts bugs. Salient point. True. That is true. That makes a lot of sense. I think everything should be in dark mode. Just for bug reduction. You know, I'm kind of afraid for my calendar. It's days are numbered. All right, going over to Jersey and server mute. <laughs> oh my God. Why is six afraid of seven? Because seven's a registered six offender. Oh, no, dude! <laughs> oh, I, th I thought that was 789. Oh, no! That's a twist on the 789. Seven apparently also did something to six. <laughs> Prison abolition except for seven. Uh, we gotta keep seven. We gotta keep seven somewhere. off the streets. Bang. All right. Hooked back in. Oh, shift click. Shift click does the angle cocks. We learned this. Oh, and there, there is an angle cock open on the rear. It's fine. And a handbrake. Hey, 
got my sounds all set up. Yay, you know, sounds! It, the other week I, uh, I bought a, uh, a chocolate record player. It, uh, it sounds pretty sweet. Are you reading these off the internet? Yes, he is. Do you think Jersey's no, actually this funny? No, that one I actually had. The last two, the last two I had in the back of my mind. Uh -huh. the, those two, I think my dad told me a couple weeks ago. All right. The step ladder I got from Jay Schlatt. What do you call a cow with no legs? Ground beef. Exactly. What are you doing, step ladder? Shut up! Get him! Get him out of here! Get this guy out of here! Chat, can we ban him? Can we? Can we get his IP address? Uh, you could try. No, Mick, that's not a challenge. So what's the uh, what's the verdict on Dan? Do or do not. Uh, uh, switching try. shenanigans. Switching shenanigans, is... very fun. Uh, running trains, kind of whatever. Um. Multiplayer, probably pretty fun, especially given switching shenanigans. Um, economy stuff, like, I don't know, it seems, I mean, it's a train game, so it's hard to have fast pace. Like, I don't, I have yet to feel the itchy scratchy of, ooh, I've, I've done a thing and I feel rewarded. Um, but uh, some of the whistle stuff's, like, decent, which is fun. Um, the scenery uh, is d digital scenery simulator, so it's uh, meeting the bar of every other train game. Um, so uh, overall, eh, pleasantly surprised. Like the switching, I had that was genuinely very good fun. The I think that's genuinely the best switching I've ever seen in a train game. That was very fun, um, and and the tools really actually set you up for it. So. I'm excited to see what multiplayer is like. Oh, wait, can, can, can you go fly over and look at that bridge over there to the right? <laughs> the bridge that goes somewhere, definitely. Like, like they said, they... Uh, no, zoom, they, zoom in on that. I... They they have... Uh, these Use your imagination. These are placeholder. Uh, dot .png. It's fine. Uh, Don't worry about it. Don't worry about that. It's uh, that they're working on the models and the scenery and those things. Apparently, that, that is the messaging that's out there, so. Choof. Choof. Oh, God. The memes are still, still just running <laughs> rampant over here. Bentendo64, why did the chicken attend a seance? To get to the other side. Makes sense. Store Mike Niner uh, Charlie. Here's a joke that may shun me. What's the difference between three dead babies and a Ferrari? Well, the difference is I don't have a Ferrari in my garage. It's a little on the dark side. I have heard that one. Oh, dude. A yeah, little dead on the dark side. Baby jokes are kind of old. Maybe. A little much. We're, we're not Edgelord Middle Schools in 2003. Yeah. <laughs> uh, what, did, what was your last remark? I was saying that dead baby jokes are. Oh, hold on. Well, they aren't. <laughs> we can tell that Jersey is still in middle school in the 2000s. It's fine. <laughs> Colton Taylor, you just dropped off a copy, a copy of the Thomas the Tank Engine book collection at your baby cousin's house. You feel proud to know that after he left, he was watching videos of steam engines. Yes. Corrupt the next generation. We love to see it. Corey Gibson, why don't scientists trust atoms? Because they make up everything. Seems reasonable. All the limes. God. Corey Gibson, I tried to warn my friend about the risks of Russian roulette. It went in one ear and out the other. Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a good one. That one's good. Fried bacon. Why do mermaids wear seashells? Because they grew out their bee shells. They outgrew their bee shells. Okay. Fair enough. So, yeah. That, uh, I support that. Yep. We're here for that. Uh, that break. This one. The, the train break. The train that breaks the train. The brake that trains the brake. What? The tr the train the brakes for train the tr break. that one. He smelled it specifically for the train. <laughs> that tr that brake? Yes, that oh, brake. Yeah. All right. Now we'll go shove back in, dump these cars off, then we got to probably refuel, uh grab, grab the the coal, spot it on the in the place. 
and then we can uh, refill our, this engine and then have two engines and see about getting getting two engine chicanery going here. Okay, this is genuinely, it is easier to just get out and just go get the angle cocks this way for all the shenanigans that I'm doing. that I know it was Tristan but like still I know nothing <laughs> All right is it spotted it looks like it's spot they're all spotted at the right spot and those wheels are definitely rolling pay no attention to those wheels that are definitely not not rolling We'll just dump that right that leave that like that where is the handbrake it's on the other end Okay. Uh, why are they not unloading? Status completed. Oh, they're unloading. They're just taking their sweet time. Okay. Well, we'll just let that do that. Shadowbox, Heist, and Conplay Rarity series coming? I hope so. That would be great. It'd be great to actually play a multiplayer game. Uh, with Khan again. <laughs> Corey Gibson, I told my wife she was dry, drawing her eyebrows too high. She looked surprised. Yeah, I bet she did. Chris Gill, we need a Corona emoji for the amount of limes being dished out. Eh, we should probably do that. It's fine. Michael Adkins, hey girls, if your man is good against uh, Russians and prone to breakdowns and random fires, that's not your man. That's Panzer come back and V Panther. Yes. Corey Gibson, doctor, I'm sorry, but you suffer from a terminal illness and only have 10 to live. Patient, what do you mean? 10? 10 what? Months? Weeks? Doctor, nine. Ah! <laughs> Guys are out of control with these today. All right. Oh my God, the jokes are still going. They're still going. They have not stopped. We've delivered logs. They're slowly unloading. Excellent. Me in so the bathroom. I'm gonna go get some stuff. <laughs> Goose dropping the excellent one liners today. God damn it. They're slowly <laughs> unloading. You might want to eat some more fiber or greens, buddy. <laughs> Goose is over there going. <laughs> no, that's just him doing his fighter plane uh, imitations in the bathroom. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta do my. I thought that was like... Jersey playing Subway Surfers. <laughs> <laughs> I was gonna say it's my anti G lock exercises, but. <laughs> I had to know. Oh god, I hear someone blowing up the valley in Dural Valley. I, I haven't really run engines from the cab at all in this game. Because the hitboxes on all the controls suck, if I'm being honest. And and I'm pushing the reverser forwards, and it's not going forwards. So, yeah. The UI is very much the thing. They're, they're working on the models, so hopefully they're fixing that sort of stuff. Because that's, uh, that's pretty frustrating. Oh, goodness. Look at all these cars we've been given. We've been given train to play with at Interchange. Uh, we'll go get the coal here, because uh, last night I accidentally softlocked my game by running out of coal. Um, and then not having anything that could move anything, which now was you, a you can, silly thing. You can hold shift R and repeatedly hit R to just kind of push the car. So getting my locomotive that was in Ella back to the engine house was a possibility. That is downhill. <laughs> you, could, you could try. <laughs> Oh, the handbrake's on. Duh. Fine. There Watch we go. Watch it. You're almost out of fuel. Th that is what happened, yes. <laughs> Tristan. <laughs> Tristan is just getting all of these lines, and I'm here for it. All right. Bren Devolo. Uh, damn you, Heist. I'm supposed to be studying for real railroad exams, and this is not helping. Uh, yes. Do not do anything that we're doing in this game in the real railroad. 
Corey Gibson, did you hear about Actually, the restaurant do. on the moon? It'll be funny, and I want to hear about you on the news. Great food, no atmosphere. Limes. Emil Person, did you in that you can actually see the brakes come on and off? Uh, I'm not sure if you missed a word there. Uh, I don't know if you can actually see the brakes coming on and off because, oh no, you actually can. The the driver brakes actually do a do. That's neat. They bothered to animate that. They didn't bother to animate a lot of stuff. So that's kind of neat. They did something. Yay. John Deere boy, my friend. No more economy. Sorry I'm late. Didn't realize you were live. Thank you, friend. Good to see you as always. And Paul Consani, it's it's too long for chat. Can anyone on stream recite the off off again, on again, gone again, Finnegan joke? Uh, I don't know. Mm. I, do, I don't know. I don't know that don't joke. Know <laughs> Corey Gibson, why are train crews so good at their job? They do a lot of training. Limes. <laughs> All right, get this guy past here. We could have run around it, but once again, we're choosing violence and we're gonna Dutch drop this. And what person, you can also see the air brakes on the cars move. Okay, cool. That's actually a neat detail then. Okay, well, we gotta get some running room here, so. This looks like a bad idea. Uh, most of what I do in train games looks like a bad idea. It's just fun to watch the bad idea play out. It is. Because so far, you've you've saved yourself from hubris a couple times. That's true. <laughs> uh, you did miss me trying to run around the cars, uh, at the log cars, in that one little short passing track while doing yep. 35 and flinging the engine off. Um, ah, you did derail. You, you did miss that. That did happen. Damn. <laughs> All right, let's Dutch drop this boy, and then, uh, and then I'll get those top chests that are coming in. All right, that ought to be enough. <laughs> Thank you, Tristan. How good are the handbrakes? Um, good enough. Oh, that's pretty solid. Cool. Pow, spotted. <laughs> Tristan! <laughs> I'm glad that we're having fun here. <laughs> good. Colton's Taylor, if you only work on the railroad only part-time, does that make you a semiconductor? Limes. Yes, sometimes. Megos Testa, you were recently diagnosed with a terminal illness, started working road instead of yard, which cured that, but then I got this awful rash. God damn it. My call 1255, remember highest violence is never the answer. It is the question. The answer is yes. Ah, I see. That's how that works. All right, let's uh, let's fuel up here, shall we? Corey Gibson, what's a tornado's favorite game? Twister. That seems fair. Yeah. All right, call me. <laughs> Is Leo in the chat? Did he give that joke? Bacon McBacon, you can't go over that buffer. You'll get heist centered. Yep. Yep. Yep, you will. <laughs> yep. If you do want to start um, exploring your options to expand the railroad, if you hit I. Okay. Go to milestones. Okay. You have a few things you can do here. You can either repair the Ella track and bridge that goes past Ella. Okay. Or you can buy the track to Silva from the big railroad that is currently That's... supplying your interchange. That is spendy. 
I don't have that kind of money yet. Well, you can go to finance and take out a loan. Oh, God. I could take out an $18,000 loan, which means I could buy a bigger choo-choo, he you said. You can, but you do have to pay interest on that loan every couple days. Yeah, that's that's not ideal. There is a, there is an economy in this game. <laughs> there's not an economy on the YouTube stream, but there's an economy in this game. Okay, we've filled up with coal. Six tons. This is a very small dude. That's how much coal 346's tender holds. 346 is itty bitty. Anyway, let's water up and then we'll drag our, our 10 wheeler out of the shed and do the same. And then I guess I will ponder those things that you're that you have suggested. Yeah. No, it's not putting water in yet, Tristan. You missed the mark. Stow. Yeah, I thought it would just do it. Stow, stow. St where, where? Okay, I'm, I guess I'm not. Uh, not quite. You missed spotted. the mark. I missed the mark. There we go. Now it'll just do it. How does he miss the there mark if he is the mark? Oh no. Fifty-five dollars for one log. One logs. Okay, so that so one log of which each car holds three is worth a passenger train car, full basically to Ella. Okay. Well, so. once you once you start getting distance with the passenger trains, passengers mm -hmm. start paying more for their tickets. That makes that makes sense. But that also it means more sense. digital scenery simulator. It's fine. Uh, Corey Gibson, patient doctor. I keep getting an insect buzzing around me. Doctor, don't worry. That's just a bug going around. <laughs> no, <sighs> limes. <laughs> okay. Let's uh, let's go grab our ten wheeler. Get it fueled up because it's probably fixed, or maybe it's not fixed. I don't know. It's at eighty-six percent. It's mostly fixed. We'll let it get fixed all the way. So we'll do. We'll, we'll get the ten wheeler happy tomorrow, I guess. We'll keep playing with our, our choo choo here. So um, let's see. Uh, locations. We have um, our milestones. Uh, Ella track and bridge between Ella and Governor's Island. Start first phase for $750 or track to Silva. So if we look at the map. So Silva is, oh Christ, that is, that's a lot more track that way. And then this is, this would be the other one that would be this bridge past Ella. Correct. Oh God, so that gets us all the way to Bryson then, basically, if we do that one. Yep. Okay, so Silva so to is help a you, to help you compare and contrast. Uh, Silva has one very large industry, and I think four medium industries. Okay. So money there. Now, if you go to Bryson, you would spend less on the bridge. It takes longer. Uh, but you get access to about five medium-sized industries. Okay. And a new passenger station. Granted, Silva has one, two, three passenger stations you get access to, but it's also a larger lump sum of money. Right. So, choices. What do we There's think? I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna put we're gonna put a poll up. Let the viewers Ooh. choose. I'm gonna let chat decide. Did you guys know that milk is the fastest liquid? Well, through it's Mark's body, maybe. It's pasteurized before you even see it. Can we ban this guy? <laughs> yes. Yes, in fact, we can. Oh, my God. A Corey Gibson teacher. If I had seven oranges in one hand and eight oranges in the other, what would I have? Student. Big hands. Fair. Corey Gibson. I told my friend a time travel joke, but he didn't laugh. Turns out I told it to him next week. God damn it. No. Very silly. All right. Uh, looks like slightly more of chat is saying track to Bryson. 53%. Pretty even split. But. Chat says Bryson has it a takes roundhouse. It takes days to Does. build bridge? You should have led with that. I, I said it takes longer. You did say it takes longer. So the bridge yeah. takes several days to make? Yep, you get three phases of cars you need to deliver to the bridge site. Presumably for no uh, money. 
for no money. You actually have to pay money to get these cars. <clears throat> so it seems that the other direction seems better, but more expensive up front. No, it is monster time. Correct. You're right. Yeah, I think we're going to uh, ignore chat because it's almost 50-50, <laughs> and we're going to go to Silva because I think the Bryson path <laughs> is... Uh, is a little silly. All right, so loan, finance. I recognize the chat has made a decision, but given that it's a, a stupid, stupid ass decision, decision, I've elected to ignore it. Okay, uh, so we'll have to pay $900 in four days. Okay, that's not too terribly bad, so we just gotta keep making money. Okay, purchase track to Silva. Pow. And you have 25% off because you have a, you've run the railroad well, apparently. Cool! I don't know about that! <laughs> I, I I don't know about me running railroads well with the uh, the uh, things that I've been doing, but anyway, it's fine. It'll show up on your report tomorrow. Cool. All right. So now we can run all the way to Silva. We are facing that way, and there's a new interchange there. So we no longer can interchange right here, presumably. That is correct. Your interchange is now in Silva. Okay. So we have to run all the way there now, and I've got all these cars that need to go. Um. Ella Farm Supply, Ella Farm Supply, Hollowfield Heating Oil. I don't know where that is. And Stenzel Manufacturing. I think those are in Whittier. Yep, so Hollowfield and I do have Stenzel all these four there. cars that we can spot. So maybe we'll spot those, and then maybe we'll buy more passenger cars and run a passenger train over the new line. Maybe that's the move. Although it's passenger. It does sound like so. a move. Or two. All right. Does it, yeah, I guess it would be more than... There's at least three moves, because it's three industries. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> so Katana said both. Uh, uh, we'll get there at some point. Kroom. Oh my god, what? Ten months? Is this real? I don't know. Have fun. Uh, may not be real. Maybe a figment of your imagination. Bacon McBacon. I didn't use my knowledge of citrus fruit to impress you, but I'm terrible at pickup limes. Wow. I'm just gonna blow the whistle for that one. Oh, I didn't know that the tender's doing a nice little shake back and forth. That's fun. It does a little. It does a little waddle. I think the. Engine does too if you lean out. It might be easier to see it. I don't know. I think Probably. I saw it. Kick that off. Yeah, because my camera is focused on the engine. It might not show up that well. Yeah, if you go first person, I think you can see it. Corey Gibson, I have a joke about construction, but you're still working on it. Get out of here. Thank you, Corey. <laughs> All right, air is charged up. Radioactive 4001. Just remember what I can do this. Insert funny here. Thank you, friend. An ammo person. Bryson is a big roundhouse. Well, we'll have to connect Bryson up at some point. Oh, look, they only had two handbrakes set. That's cool. It follows SOP 40%. I assume. It's technically 50%, but anyway. In multiplayer, can anyone manage the finances? Or is that just a post thing? Um, to be honest with you, uh, I'm not 100% sure. Okay. I know there are certain permissions you can set for multiplayer sessions, so that will probably affect who can deal with finances. So what Mark really needs is more people to go run other jobs so they can make more money. Yes. <laughs> Now, a proposal, if Mark wants to save here and open up, I could run the freight for him if he wants to do the passenger. Uh, my choo-choo's not fixed yet, though. Uh, it can still run at a lower percentage. It doesn't have to be 100%. I guess, uh, I guess it's the same percentage as my current train. So, uh, yeah, why don't, why don't we do that? We'll, we'll, we'll get, but we'll do the multiplayer thing. People want to see that, I'm sure. So I'll pull, up and, I'll pull up and stop next to the engine house, not in the foul. That way you can run like the fast passenger and explode, I guess. I don't know. OK. 
Okay, set up the break there. Uh, I will tie, we'll, we'll listen to what we just said and we will tie 40% of the brakes on the cars. And we will save the game. Game saved, quit. Uh, save game, yes. Okay. Let me get the, uh, Corey Gibson, Schrodinger's cat does and does not walk into a bar. Seems about right. Multiplayer, host, ESNDT stream, continue. Public name game. Hi, Buppy. Your player name, Heiss. <laughs> Start server. Uh, it didn't give me an option to put a password on, so I guess any of the other YouTubers who have game can probably just come crash the party. Unless that's an option inside here. I think there is an option. I just, I'm not remembering at the moment how to set it up. Kay. But for our purposes right now, I think we're okay. We quaking. Okay. Does oh, we have like admin perms to like kick users. Or oh, this something? is this is a pretty uh, yeah, pretty ten wheeler. Um, it doesn't have any fuel still though, so I guess I should probably uh use this engine to drag the the dead engine out to go get some fuel. So we'll do that. Unless you want to watch me try and just hoof it over there, literally. All right, control select. There we go. Tristan, he's just <laughs> on it. Right. I I promise I'm doing good and useful things. Hmm. I think I need to update my. Game. <laughs> Have you shown the uh, the funny thing with the switch stands you found? <laughs> I have not shown that. That is a bug that uh, I need to report to Corey and Adam. Um, the switches do a funny. Bupkiss, are you aware oh. of the switches doing a funny? I I am not. All right, I found a bug. That I guess that is another bug that I ran into. Uh, let me just dunk this real quick. Those pilot. That's um. Huh. I've run into this problem in real life before, mm -hmm. and I I understand why that's a thing. But anyway, um, yeah. So uh, the the switches. If you start to confuse the switches, you can really confuse the poor animations, and you can get the points out of sync. Oh, that's fun. I did okay. it very briefly and I, it's just the right amount of clicking where one point oh, there you go <laughs> very briefly we had okay. we were touching both it's stock rails we've we've got the uh, the new adjustable bridle bars i don't know how they oh yeah uh, i don't know well, how they have that set up but uh, that's that's a little goofy of the bugs goofy. out there i think you, you just you just limit how many times a man can click on the switch and it probably solves that but anyway i uh, i assume you're playing on the stable branch right uh i, I clicked okay. download so <laughs> okay, understood. We will we will make that happen. Well, the ten wheelers got bigger drivers. So what you're saying is I can still do the bug. <laughs> the ten wheeler is chuffing. It's, uh, I'm getting the the stark impression that uh, the realism and operation of the locomotive is not a concern of this game, which is fine. I just hope it doesn't say that on the store. DM. Sure. Taylor Stout, way better than Railroads Online. You just have to say it. <laughs> well, somebody had to say it, I guess. And Colton's Taylor, nice Rogers 10 wheelers in game. Absolute your favorite locomotives and your newest HO model in your collection. It's a nice looking engine. Good proportions. <laughs> I 
Is there a two on the stack of number two? Oh, it's the. Uh. Oh. Oh, it's not. Oh, it, some, there's uh, some goofy uh, light, bleed. light bleed going on there. Got it. Interesting. Okay, sorry. It looked kind of like the letter. That's, uh, that's fine. Sure. We gotta pick which whistle we want the other engine to have. So I gotta see what other whistles there are. I like that Redding Six. Don't like that. Don't like that. Nathan Five is not too Nathan bad. Nathan Five. That's disgusting. Redding Six is nice. Let's see, central. That's not too bad. That is disgusting. We don't Run like away. that. And and a, a single note whistle is not called the chime whistle. So it's not a one chime. And those do not sound good. No, we don't like any of those. Ew. Ugh. That's not too bad. It's called a step top five and it's got, and that's it's what the Redding, top. that's what the Redding six should look like. You have the model. Come on, man. Screams, cockatoo sounds. The models are works in progress. Those are horrid. This sounds uh, a bit crushed. This sounds more like a grand five than the grand five. I just use it. Be a mark. That sounds. I really like that one. Use the NYC. Yeah, the the New York Central Five. That is definitely not a Grand Five. That's what we'll put on the uh, the other engine. Whack. Okay. So, is there any anything we can do about that, Bup? Or no? Not that I know of. Interesting. Yeah. Let me look on Steam and see if I have any options. We're having a build synchronization issue, apparently. Uh, I have the option to join the previous build in the betas. Mm. But that looks like the only other option I have. Oh, hang on a minute. I know what's happening here. Sierra 3's whistle would be the most accurate speaking. She's of the type. Oh, that's true. I guess they probably do have Sierra 3's, which is um, uh, the Lima 5, isn't it? Yeah, it's supposed to be. I don't see... I don't see the Lima 5. Ah, well, that's uh, that's interesting. So I guess I won't be playing multiplayer tomorrow then, huh? <laughs> um, if if Khan gets the the same build as you, there you could. Yeah, us two could play. Yeah. So interesting. Oh, well. the The current oh, well. the current testers of the game have a different build than uh, than the YouTube people are getting. So I cannot play with Buppy. So uh, we'll we'll get finished getting the ten wheeler ready, and we can run the ten wheeler as a separate engine. But uh, and we're gonna have to go do the switch in ourselves. I hear running multiple trains at once is a thing. So I, I hear that, that I hear that is a, a thing that we can do. So I guess we'll try that. That sounds like a, a wise decision. <laughs> and and apparently, um, that that's close enough that it works. Cool. Thank you. Good. Uh, the. the the ten wheelers facing the correct direction for the freight, and the the mogul is facing the correct direction for the passenger. Um, so I guess we're gonna do that. Select. Okay, we'll set the brake on this guy. You could AI the uh, the passenger down towards. Uh, I don't remember what that town name is down there. Barkers, maybe. 
uh, and you can put a few fusey slash torpedo slash whatever we're calling it um, down in front of the station, and it'll stop there. Interesting. All right. So you don't have to worry about it until the uh, AI says, hey, we've stopped. That's nice. Throw the switch before I do anything too stupid. Not worth the fun in that. <laughs> We're going to go run, run to the depot, pick up our passenger car. Where do new cars spawn? They spawn at the interchange. Oh, so they, they, they're they delivered to you. They they now spawn all the way on the other end of the, the universe. This is correct. Okay. So I guess we'll run a one-car passenger train. So, yeah, I guess we'll, well do can, that. You could run a one-car down two up. D and then, yeah, and then pick up the other car and run the other way. Yeah. You can use the tangler to pick up your freight and chase number three now. <laughs> that's, that's true. We could do that. Uh, let's see. Let me catch these top chats. Corey Gibson, your boss told me I'd have a good day, so I went home. Yeah, beautiful. <laughs> okay, so how does one just easily, like, so I just have to run to the other engine and click on it then, huh? Mm -hmm. All right. So Kenosha's peaking, and we've left the other engine to run by itself. That seems <laughs> wise. Oh, that's that's the wrong engine. I have to now select this. Okay, that makes sense. I don't like that whistle. Okay, we'll just let him idle and we'll go figure out if we've clobbered the passenger car or not. There you are. Oh, it's it's all stopped there. Okay, control click, select. Oh, we left the brake on, that's why. Taylor Stout, what's my opinion on this game? It seems decent enough. Um, I want to try it in multiplayer. Switching shenanigans is fun. Um, the scenery which they're working on is kind of placeholder and boring, which that they're working on that. That's part of the early access thing still. Um, I don't care for the way that the trains operate. That's just me. And I'm, I'm like a steam locomotive engineer and fireman. So that's kind of the whole thing. Like that's no big deal um, for gameplay wise. I mean, you don't need to do that. I would love to see something more akin to like even what Dero Valley has as far as Sim goes. Um, I don't like a lot of the way that some of those details work. And then a lot of the locomotives have a lot of really weird goofiness to their models. Look at this perfect hitch that's happening without us right here. Bang. Uh, <laughs> thank you, Tristan. Um, I guess now we just, uh, we just send, select this guy and just, Put, put the beans on it, right? Just, uh, gotta kick the brakes off. Switching shenanigans have been the highlight. Uh, getting to do like this second person camera or third person camera float around and just having shenanigans, that is very fun. Um, so a lot of the railroad stuff, I don't like, oh God, my player is still in this engine. <laughs> There's some weirdness like that. <laughs> Bang. Okay, well, hopefully that wasn't too bad of a hitch. It seems like it was fine. Okay. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Uh, let's select this engine. Okay. Uh, the sounds and the effects are kind of overall. Some of the whistles are pretty nice, but uh, thank you. So it, it's a mixed bag. Uh, I think it's going to get better with time, and it seems like the core gameplay is there, uh, so that's cool. Where's my other train? Is my other train I doing have anything? I a question regarding the uh, interchange yard. Is it just like, do they just fill the cars you have, or do they give you like, do they spawn in and unload cars based on what is provided there? Because looking at the map, it looks like the it doesn't actually connect to another railroad. That just struck me as kind of odd that like, cars Um, at the moment they do just kind of appear at six o'clock in the morning or whenever you set your interchange time to be. I don't know if that was the question you were asking. 
I mean, like, cars appearing or disappearing, like, in principle, like, makes sense as far as loading and unloading them. It's just the interchange looks like it's the thing beyond the interchange is washed out. So, like, it's if you, uh... weird that it would start there. I'm not, I'm not sure I'm following what you mean by, like, washed out or... We just don't know what that end of the map looks like, I guess. We're on the map. I mean, we haven't, well, we haven't been like down the, there yet. Because, like, there is track that is, like, grayed out from the interchange down to another place. So, and then there's, like, another place labeled interchange on the far end of the map. So it's, like, if the actual connection... Oh, Mark, Mark just bought that section to that far end interchange. I think I know what you're talking okay. about. Mark, can you hit M for me? Sure. And show uh, Wings Silva on the map there? Yep. Silva. So that's the interchange that Mark just bought down to. Mm -hmm. yeah. It's just there was another interchange like at the place you spawn at the That is now area. gone. Yeah. This is no yeah. longer an interchange. But that wasn't washed out. That was just yeah. it's disconnected, right? It, it, or was it it's, out? it just struck me as weird from like a, a world building. I world I building. do oh, okay. I do have to say being here with the one train and then seeing the other train coming, that's pretty fun. Oh god, it's doing yeah, thirty eight mile an hour. The the super fun things we've found in uh, in multiplayer is doing like you know, these really precise meetups and actually seeing your friends roll by is, is really fun. Or get, having a close call of, like, someone thinking they can do a switch move oh, before a Oh, okay, we shouldn't have thrown through. that switch. Aww. We shouldn't have thrown that switch. Aww. It's fine. It's going to stop faster now because it's in the dirt. <laughs> oh, the it's brown. You just fixed we, it. We just <laughs> fixed it, and it's become brown. ESNDT number two, return to brown. Do we count this as a derail or me suffering for my own hubris? Yeah, something about yard switches not liking 38 mile an hour. Right. Okay. Yeah, it's, uh, it's fine. That. It's fine. We'll just have to deal with the sadness of the choo-choo being sad now. What? So what? wait, that's derailed. What? How? What? Is it still locked to... When you derail it, it still looks like like all the It looks like it's still track, on the rail. It's sideways. Yeah, I don't know if. I don't think it comes fully detached. Um, okay. Like, uh, like train sim or something. So, I to do the AI thing, I have to tell the train operations or nope, orders. You want to go to orders and then road. Road, forward, max speed, 30. Well, that's fun. Okay, now I, I guess I should probably line some switches for it. Uh, if there's switches thrown against it, it will stop and tell you. Oh, interesting. But it, it'll just run through whatever switches otherwise, yeah. right? So Yeah. There's no station at East Whittier, so... And then how do you place a flag? Uh, you go to the location you want the engine to stop at, and okay. then I believe it's Control-F. Control-F. We're going to have to see if Tristan has the uh, the Lionel Train down. Town flag button. I, did, I don't. It's good to <laughs> hit me up later. I'll be back. Okay, so this is just a passing track here. Yeah. Um, ah, flag stop. Literal flag stop. All right. So tell me when you go there. Block the crossing. Yep, and it'll stop there. You don't have to worry about it. Cool. Uh, and thirty mile an hour is probably fine, right? Uh, it'll it'll make its own call on that one. It just won't go past thirty. Oh, okay. It'll keep the speed limits. Oh, okay. You can set the AI to forty five. It'll keep the speed limit. That's nice. Thank you, Amal. To an extent. <laughs> to an extent, I if see. It, if it can't adjust in time, it'll derail. Ah. So you do have to take that into account. Well, there it goes, off running by itself. Corey Gibson, what do you get when you drop a piano down a mine shaft? A flat minor. Yes, yes you do. Craig Bryant, <laughs> odd question. With steam engines while going down the railroad, you can see the water level through the sight glass to the boiler level. Question is, can you see the water level for the tender so you know if you're extremely low or not? Some tenders have sight glasses. Um, none of my tenders do. Uh, 346's tender has nothing. 20's tender and 491's tender have dipsticks that you pull out, you put in the fire to get all the water off, put them back in, and then you can see where it gets wet to. 
uh, which is a very scientific way to see uh, exactly how things are doing. Um, so that's that's kind of fun. But I mean, worst case, you go climb up the hatch. Uh, so there's not much I there. I mean, you can also kind of feel the side of the tender, feel where the temperature changes. That is true. Usually the uh, the water section's a lot colder, although that doesn't work when it's cold out. So yeah. Let's see, Corey Gibson. You don't trust stairs because they're always they always get up to something. It's true. Okay, those <laughs> those are going to Ella, and so Hollowfield Heating Oil and Stenzel Manufacturing um, locations. Uh, God, we have so many locations now. This is the put the fucking names of the track in the tab menu. I beg of you, please. What, what what track is it? Track R1. That one. Okay, that's Hollowfield Heating and Oil. And then Stenzel Manufacturing is that one. Okay, now we know where these cars are. So we need to get rid of these two last cars. We'll just set them out. Close the cocks. And we'll just do that. Um, oh. The brake pipe was still zeroed out. So I guess we will... Open things up so that the train can release. There we go. Now close them. All right. Kicking? Kicking? I want to do some kicking. This poor engine's become brown. Uh, so the this is this car. Actually, we need to we need to kick all of these cars. Oh God. I'm not going to be able to get that, but I'm right here. Oh, God, the quake beat me sick for a second. I thought everything was tipping over. It does do a bit of that. Can I get this break? Okay. Those won't roll, won't roll too far now. Mark, do me a favor. Sure. Uh, hit tab and then hover over the actual like car thing that pops up above it. Oh, okay. okay. That is a thing that you can do. That is that is way much easier. Okay, I I, I undo my swearing from earlier. I was like, don't make me look through ninety five convoluted menus See, I, I, to I, figure I out the name of a track. Okay. Kicking. I want to do some kicking. That is weird that the the bit of the tutorial you did like only focuses on engine operation when like and not the majority the of, the of stuff you need to do OL for and like menu literacy is in like not operating. It's literally all the other stuff. I'm curious to see if that car makes it. It's a big hill there. Is it? I guess I will leave myself well, hey, spotted right here. Make it. You might make it. I don't think it's going to. No. Nope, that's I coming back down. Car that's gonna roll back down. Yeah. It's just trying to give you another chance at it. Ouch. It still throws me off that the chuffing sound still continues like that after you've stopped. Yeah, that's not ideal. I really like this New York Central 5. This whistle actually sounds pretty good. There's a lot of whistle options for the sake of having options, and most of them sound like crap. But, you know, the fact that there's actually some that sound really solid, that's nice. I like that. Okay, spot the boxcar. Didn't even dunk it. Handbrake on. You have a new delivery. Okay, now we'll go get our other cars here. You need a boxcar for this here load. <laughs> you can't put the track there! <laughs> Colton's Taylor, you just went to pee a minute ago. Nothing just came out at first till I realized I forgot the stream and the injector finally... You forgot the steam and the injector finally kicked in. Uh, if your kidneys are steam-operated, I would be concerned, friend. 
Darknut96 just joined. What are the specs needed for smoother running than 491's glossy boiler? You're currently dog sitting an elderly good boy. He's a 12 year old Labrador. What a cutie. That's Aww. nice. Um, what specs are needed to run glossy? I don't know what the specs of this game are. It runs bang on 60 FPS for me. I haven't found the graphics settings though, because I run 144 Hertz monitor and I've not found settings to set FPS or anything. So, um, I don't know if those settings exist or not. Okay, so now, now in uh, in janky switching maneuvers, got all the air bottled on these cars, uh, and two of them need to go to Ella with us. Oh, almost perfect. Come on, bang. Uh, yes, good. We're just gonna leave it bottled like that. So. Why is there, oh, is this brake? That's the brake that's on. Okay, there we go. So all the brakes are off. So these two need to go to Ella with us. So we, we're going to, we're gonna back up so we can get a little speed. Not so much speed, because this is a tight turnout, but we need to drop the tank car in here and then the box cars need to go with us. So we're gonna drop the box cars first into this. We're gonna Dutch drop those. Then we're gonna Dutch drop the tank car into there. And then hopefully the box cars will continue on and we'll knuckle into them on the other end. Got that, everyone? That sounds like a good idea, right? Yeah. Aye, aye, Captain. Sounds, sounds like a, a smart thing. I can hear you. AI engineer, aye, aye, AI engineer said something. I don't know what, what he say? said. There was a message and I didn't get to you read it. You can hit tilde and you can read it. Fusey in the gauge. All right, he has arrived at the other station, so I guess we'll go deal with him for a second. Let's see. Uh, Corey Gibson, what do you call a fish with no eyes? A fish, fish, yes, limes. And Nathaniel Lombardi, hey, any updates on the hats? Uh, Leighton has not gotten back to me because he's meeting with our supplier next week. He thought he was meeting with them this week. He's meeting with them next week. We don't have an update for you. So next Thursday, or this Thursday, we should uh, we should have some semblance of an update. All right, there is a way to fast travel via the map, is there not? Uh, you can use the map. And I believe if you do control T on the map, you'll teleport to where you're. Yep, there you cool. go. Cool. There we go. <laughs> My friend, I thought you were going to stop right close to the fusee. Okay, well, fine. I didn't want to block the crossing. Nerd. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> T Tristan! Too close to switch. Okay, so I. I that's kind of goofy. I'm just gonna run this manually then, real quick. All right, so uh, this car passenger, uh, all the things we're going to are still selected, so we're unloading all the people for Wilmot. Okay, that's interesting. And so once they all unload, you'll get passengers for wherever else, and then right you'll be on your way. So how do you tell the AI to do that automatically, or does it just not work like that? It does not work like that. It would be nice if it did, because <laughs> <laughs> this is uh, it's nice for them getting into between places, but the gameplay that I'm experiencing now uh, is kind of stupid and pointless like the train's not doing anything i'm literally waiting for passengers to do stuff uh and it says five passengers waiting then they're probably not even going to the locations we want you can open the window and see where they're trying to go yeah they're trying to go to ella okay so now we can we can just tell him to go again so we'll grab train uh uh road 30 apparently we can do 45 but they they're stupid and don't slow down sometimes it's fine. Uh, let's just travel down the railroad here. Uh, another passing track with no station, presumably. When you play with more people, those become very handy. I would imagine so. Ooh, there's a tunnel. Holy shit. Another passing track. This looks like a location. location. Okay, so we got to line them in to, to the platform. I think both tracks have a 
Oh, the they, pro they probably do. You're probably right. I've but seen that. You don't want to but... block up the main line. Yeah, and we'll put the flag. We'll put the fusey the there'sville, and there's a water plug there. <laughs> Tristan, <laughs> I, I'm, I'm looking at the track alignment here, and I'm wondering like if they went through the effort to put in like turnouts for two spurs, why not just make it a full, you know, siding to make a house track rather than two separate spurs? But I don't know, maybe maybe it's based on a prototype or something that they did that. Okay, control T. There we go. Cool. Corey Gibson, what do you call a train with loaded loaded bubble gum? A choo choo train. Yes. Good. Uh, and Railman1225. Okay, here's something better than a name suggestion. Did you know someone already modeled Big Virginian Lad that's ready for Dear Old Valley soon as Locos for custom car to work? I did not know this. That's exciting. Okay. Uh, click this train, select this train. Pow. Right. What stupidity were we getting up to? Right. We're going to do a double Dutch drop, and it's not going to have any problems right i really like the sound of that five chime that one's nice you can't tell me it's not a rear grand five though <laughs> i just left my player in the gauge my player feels somewhat irrelevant i missed the safety meeting <laughs> he did miss the safety <laughs> meeting all right <laughs> bye Bye, guys. We'll meet you in a minute. Now, if you'd like, uh, at some point, you can customize your character a little bit. Cool. The You're character feels like a, a little a... little bit irrelevant. Not going to lie. Yeah, yeah like, I, I feel like this game could have just not had no demise at all. And it would, like, I would be none the wiser. Like, it would... Okay, line the switch. It, it is unique in that this game kind of takes a... Oh, this is not going to work. Nope. nope. Crap. It's, it's unique in that it takes a very, like, dissociated perspective for more an overview. It, Stop, it feels please. feels more like a digital model railroad in that sense, but, like, I don't think you need the character models. Oh, this. God. Okay. This is, this is, this is what we get for <laughs> railroading the way that we do on the ESNDT. That looks, like, faster than five mile an hour difference. Okay, that's fine. Got it. Can we beat the boxcars back? I don't know if we could beat the boxcars back. Oh god. This is uh So you you're you're trying to now do an actual Dutch drop. Because <laughs> like what you've been calling a Dutch drop really is uh drop Uh this is this is this is this is not this is not good. This did not this did not buff. This did not buff. Yeah. Oh. This didn't. This did High not. train. Meat dirt. This did. This did not go <laughs> well. Say the oh, line, you <laughs> hey, little man. We, we needed that sound effect for sooner than I expected. <laughs> or say the line. What line? Say the line. Oh, that that line. <laughs> that that one. That's a Fender banner. Jesus Christ. Uh, Corey Gibson, I'm out of jokes now, so I'll end with this. Why is Highest really flammable but immune to electricity? He's a good fireman but a bad conductor. Uh, as <laughs> obvious right here. <laughs> Thank you, Corey. Okay. Oh, oh, here's the MacGuffin for why I have to have a player character. We have to go into quake mode and bunny hop over to the train to rerail it. I see. Okay. That almost so feels say I arbitrary. See. That feels extremely arbitrary. It feels stupid, but that's okay. Well, it's, it's pretty fun to be, you know, if you have a two-man crew, you can have someone as a conductor riding the sides of cars. And okay, that, that makes you can, sense. You can role-play a little bit. As a, as a, as a single-player right now, I'm just kind of like, what? why? Yeah. Okay. Single-player is very much too camera-oriented, in my experience. Put your back into it, you wuss! Uh, you might be too damaged, or you might have a handbrake on. Or something is still derailed. Is your tender derailed? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like it. No. Oh, that tank car is still derailed. <laughs> How is that derailed? You don't look like you're derailed. You, you knuckle in, stretch it. We've uh, we've oh. managed to kick that. 
go. Get on the tracks, you. Oh god. 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 Bang. Okay. Good hit. Stretch him. No, we're kicking. We're. I'm not going yard speed. I'm gonna high ball. Still standing in the gauge. Okay. Now that this travesty of a switching maneuver is somewhat figured out. Okay, handbrake. Tie the brakes. Stop stop doing the dumb. <laughs> to quote Apollo, stop doing the bad. <laughs> Th that would have been epic had it worked, but it did not work. We, we need not elaborate as to why it did not work. Mm. Christopher Springer just watched putting a steam engine to bed, and I remember doing that as a valet at Monterey Car Week. We put rags over the headlights as a sort of binky. We would do this with a million dollar plus cars, and it was hilarious. <laughs> that is hilarious. We have a million plus steam engine that I did that to in the video, so. Two million I'm plus steam so engine. That was well worth, yeah. The video's doing pretty well from what I saw. Yeah. Probably, probably more than that. A 25k? Oh shoot, that's actually doing really well. D does YouTube only show like half of those views publicly? Because it shows like 12. Maybe. Oh, tw I thought you said it. It was at 25, and I was like, what? I haven't no, looked at it, it. Publicly, it looks like uh, just shy of 12. But... Oh, okay. Well, I don't know what it's at. I'd have to pull it up. All right. Now that. Uh, the great rolling shit show is ready to move on to Ella. Uh, and we break that a little bit so it doesn't hitch too hard. And we'll just tie a break because that's probably spotted. Oh, that's not spotted. Rough. There's no industry there, so I couldn't tell. Okay. Well. They can only park the Why is the industry to, track so uh, short? Because there's like gonna there's so there's gonna be a building that's gonna be a MacGuffin for where the car gets loaded, but there's no building yet. So Can you get out and push? <laughs> uh, I have been I, I have been told that you can get out and push. Let's try and get out and push. How do I get out and push, Bup? Uh, I was just thinking about you when you have longer sh hold shift cars. and repeatedly press R. And you might you might be able to get to move. move. Yeah, you do go. you doubt my Super Mario 64 bullshit? <laughs> just, just backwards long jump. <laughs> the spot. You know how much Mario Party I played as a kid? I won all of these games. The, the button mashing <laughs> games? <laughs> oh, you, 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 you have Literally getting red in the shit. face. My monitor is you're literally spotted. rotating you're away. Spotted. You're spotted. You're spotted. You're spotted. Jesus. <laughs> Sorry, I was I was uh, trying to assert dominance. <laughs> Let me readjust my monitor that has scooted. <laughs> the mount Amazing. has vibrated loose from playing Dear Hell Valley. Doing the same Mark thing. Was one of those kids who had like the permanent blister right in the center of the palm from the N64 <laughs> Oh fuck yeah! You you know it. You know it. I'm in this oh, meme. Okay. All the Mario Party games where you have to just spin that thing so incredibly fast and it bumps every corner in that weird octagonal inlet for it. It's good times. Okay. So are new contracts appearing as you're doing this? That you can pick up, or are those I d the contracts are a couple days long. They're like three days long a piece, it seems, um, for the ones that I had oh, been okay. grabbing. So presumably there will be multiple cars to spot. Um, and I don't know if, if new contracts are appearing or not. I also don't know where did that other train make it? No, it's all it's still on its way. Um, since you bought the new section of railroad, you do have new contracts available. I would imagine so. So if you go through and uh, accept the tier ones or whichever ones you want to serve. God, tier tier three at Slay Mika and Schist, whatever that is. I, 
Uh, let me get finished with these, because I'm not gonna this, like it's not gonna run through the end of the day with just this, these cars. This feels like an overwhelming amount of stuff to like have a single player try to manage, especially. Yeah. The, the contract. I see this list of locations, and I have an anxiety attack. I am gonna be real. Luckily, not all of them have contracts. But how do you know that? You can't tell that with anything until you go through and click every single one of these. Yeah, if there was like a uh, little like tooltip thing or a uh, like notification icon. There was or like, like even if it sorted by contracts available, contract unavailable. Th that's why running. Yeah, that's why. That's why operating the train is so boring in this game is so that you can spend five hours clicking through all the goddamn contracts at each location. That's what you're spending your time with, right? You're managing the railroad, not just running it. That's true. <laughs> Good. I didn't like steam engines anyways. <laughs> you're the conductor, right? Something like that. <laughs> We're conducting this whole operation. 75 horse case. Upgrading to a fireman. Thank you, friend. Northwesterner, you just got back from driving through the twilight zone of eastern Oregon after crawling around an attic full of rock wool, and the first thing you see is Mark binning it. Fucking glorious. I'm glad. It happens. The bins happen. All right. Well, that's thirty thirty ish. So we'll just uh, just keep going. Uh, let's see. Now we can click through all these. I don't know. We have. I don't. I, if I click the like button, I don't know what the contract is. Is it just different days? Is it different cars? So uh, the industry will change based on the tier of contract you have. So tier one will be like the minimum amount of cars the industry needs to function. And tier five, once you complete the lower tiers, is the maximum amount of cars the industry could take. Okay. So the higher up in tiers you go, the more cars you'll get. I okay. thought there was a way to show which cars or how many cars it would get. Maybe hover over the tier, see if it tells you. Sign a contract. Remember. Okay. Uh, I don't remember for sure. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Tristan, for uh, noting that the flag has been reached with the ding. You heard. I'm so I did. happy you got it. <laughs> Let me uh, pinch this back down to 30. Because we're coming up on that, that spicy little 30 right around here there it is i will say like these brakes do not feel anything like real brakes th there, there's certain stuff with the environment design that i would have liked to have seen different but i will say at least like compared to other train games like at least you know this looks like plausible shaping of terrain it's not just someone took a sculpt brush and like did random bumps everywhere like th th there there is a a sense of like you know river floodplain and stuff so that, that's i i will get points for that bacon mcbacon mark is now derelict really really <laughs> Am I standing in the cab? My man, there's a seat. What are you doing? Yeah, didn't you say they want you off your feet most of the time? Try walking back into the seat, maybe it'll put you down and sit. I don't know. MK says it is based heavily on wheel terrain. I mean, yeah, it's the it's just the Murphy branch, basically. Um, just with the serial numbers filed off, but like it's fine. That's yeah. I'm, I'm saying I, I would rather see this than like you know something where the terrain is just so bumpy that it's impossible to uh, like you know A just doesn't look like a real place and B is impossible. Oh, we to don't. Track it, but... The brakes don't feel like real brakes because I didn't cut the air in on the cars, Mark. That's why. <laughs> that would do it. That would do it. It's like, man, I'm taking like 20 pound sets and it's not doing anything. Because you're dumb. Anyway, we'll, our we'll keep our. Says, Why do Americans build railroads so close to water edges? Uh, it's because rivers tend to be shallow and that is helpful for grades. Like, you tend to follow uh, river valleys because they are the lowest, smoothest way through a set of mountains. We have terrain here. It's not just flat. <laughs> that, yeah. that is true. Yeah. 
I'm reminded of that comment of like, oh, British two foot gauge had a one percent grade. And that was scary. God forbid. All right, this uh, this guy's ready to go. How's he doing on water? He's doing good on water and coal. Can extinguish that fusee, and he'll just go now. Cool. I'm a person. Once you're done with the freight, you should probably repair your uh, ten wheeler. Yeah, yeah, I agree. I probably should do that. Laughs in overall seven and a half percent grade change. Is this Silva? That is Silva. Oh. Or like, how long is the five percent at Cumbres? Uh, four. It's four percent for fifteen miles. But yeah. Um. I know it's five percent. for It's a br bit. briefly five percent. Not enough to actually make it be on the timetable though. So. Okay, uh, and then oh, oh. There's the I was that's like the big industry. Th that's Silva. There's supposed to be a lot of track there. Oh, there is the lot of track. That's cool. That actually looks like it'd be fun to switch at. And then is this is this the new interchange right here? Uh that three tracks right there, that's the new interchange. What you're looking at is the okay. spur for the southern to come and get your stuff. That's cool. Okay. Neat. So that engine's our AI buddy is just gonna keep going there. Can order a new passenger car and then Your AI buddy has stopped. Oh, sorry, I didn't line the other switch. At least it won't run through switches. Yeah. That's that's decent QOL. All right, but they're lined all the way in, so that's good. So we can go back to... Do you put a fuse down? Uh, I, think, to ask I think I did. Did I not? You did. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Tristan knows because okay. Tristan made the ding. There it is. Okay. <laughs> Fusey right there. All right, and we go back to Ella uh, like that. There we go. Christopher Springer, welcome to the conductors. Thank you. And okay, so these cars both need to end up there in, in this short MacGuffin of silly track. Um, well, literally a Lionel train town. <laughs> the, 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 the boys are hungry over at the depot. We'll cook them up some burgers. Something like that. Don't you make me put all of it in the soundboard. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I, I got an early copy of the game. Uh, they sent me one last night. I played it a little bit. Um, having a lot more fun with it today, honestly. Uh, the, the switching shenanigans is what's making this a really fun game. Being able to switch from this view. Must have clicked too far down. To be honest, I'm curious how like single player scales to once you have the rest of the map loaded up. It's like takes two hours know, to run across, doesn't it? I, I I've heard more, but the the main thing is like you know like managing that many contracts for what was it? I think they said like 60 miles of railroad, like. That sounds I don't know how daunting. You can do that in single player, like. I mean, maybe they, there's just enough game there that you can be entertained in single player, but it's not necessarily uh, capped to for just single player. So, like, there's yeah. stuff to do if you have friends. But then it's also the thing where, like, if you have multiplayer, where like the the point of multiplayer is everyone spread out, like. 20 miles apart does it then end up feeling like three separate single player games kind of thing like like i guess again, uh, maybe multiplayer that's, maybe that's a help. personal concern is yeah. for like multiplayer train game stuff i like to think like should the multiplayer yeah. be spreading out more or should it be more close interaction with friends where running like, one train as a crew yeah, or that, running three yeah. trains i see that especially if I mean, what's the length of the whole line here, Bubkis? It's about 60 miles from uh, the yeah. set of... Oh, jeez, yeah, after after you've got, like, three. two or three people on there, you're not going to see anyone. I'm 
thought another train was coming. Is this the shopping still going? <laughs> it sounded like another train was going to come up from behind the camera. Yeah, the, the, the fade is rough on that. But, you know. I think those cars will make it in. Virtual sure, Fan Productions Heist yeah. has the crack hands when it comes to Mario Party. What can I say? All right, I'm going to make sure those cars move before we decide to run back or make it in. At least they're on the other end of me now, so I just have to shove them in a little further. It would also be handy if there was like a <coughs> readout or something for grade of these spurs, because some of them have been on pretty significant ones. Right. And it's not Because visually is from, like, pretty um, You see. can hit shift, shift and question mark and hover over the track. See if that does it. Shift question mark. Oh yeah, that's flat. Interesting. Huh. That was just a MacGuffin to get me to crash these boxcars. Bang. Bad penalty. It's fine. My new load is available. <laughs> you have a new delivery. <laughs> uh, those are spotted. Uh, do, like, are, th are they loaded still? Or did, what do I do with their com completed? Okay. So are what's they the question? Are they done? Do I have to take them back to Silva now? Uh, they are. They are spotted. They gotta unload them. Okay. How does how does one tell if they're loaded or unloaded? Uh, the way bill will change. Right now it's LF Farm Supply and it says like whatever forty nine point nine tons. It'll take three hours to unload and then you come back and get it. Okay. All right, sounds good. So we leave the cars there. So uh, now we just highball back to the shop so we can unbrown our locomotive. Probably just leave it something like that. Actually, we could just leave the bar all the way in the corner and then it'll never accelerate over a certain speed because that's how cutoff works, right? Pretty sure that's how cutoff works. How's passenger train doing? That's what we're always going to go check on. Let's see. Because that should just... Basically, it'll, it'll get back most of the way. What we can do is we'll go to East Whittier and we can line... That switch there, da, 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 da. control T, jumped here. We will just line it all the way into the shop and nothing bad will come from that by us leaving this engine alone. I'm sure. It almost okay. feels like they should start you with like a double ender locomotive or some sort of like heavier tank engine. Cause I'm, I'm noticing A, the lack of turning facilities in a lot of places and B like Switching already takes so long that using turning facilities would just take longer. All well, right, right now, I mean, you have the done. you have the Y that goes onto the logging spur, and you can turn your engine around that way. But it's That's also like your... halfway between the two station stops that don't have turning, so like you're gonna be backing up halfway. Right yeah. Oh, so if I oh, if I or buy a new around or something. if I buy a new passenger car, it's not going to show up right now, though, is it? It's It'll show up at the next interchange uh, overturn. At at uh, at six in the morning. Dot png. At six right? in the morning in Silva. Yep. So right. you can sleep, right? And it'll just be there. Yeah, that's true. Uh, how do I? Or but shift if you've done to... all your tasks for the day, you can. Pretty sleep. much okay. And granted, like running tender first was a thing in some places. It's just it it further yeah. enhances the feeling of like model railroad switching layout simulator more than like four thousand I dollars mean, I, I guess it's more I, I i think i'm coming into this expecting something it's not so i need to temper sort of expectations in that regard okay so that'll be there in the morning this guy can sit so we can just go back to our Dude, other train and make sure 78 dollars i do i just spent i just spent all my money at buying a passenger car oh lord it's probably not a what is your uh, do, when's your interest due in four debt in simulator. four days it's fine okay debt simulator welcome oh oh are you are you in debt oh yeah i took yeah. a loan to Most. buy more track oh that's not the key that i wanted to do 
and like passenger service paying like a realistic amount for passenger services means like well, why why would you honestly that, that's that's sort here of one it pays of the more that... the longer you go right oh, like uh that's my understanding of it yes yeah, but it's like when you're getting like 30 bucks for people, it's like, uh, again that's one thing where like railroad titan three get it right is they recognize passenger service conceptually in a game function is like the higher ticket item so it's gonna pay disproportionately more as a reward for that more like intensive and you know high-end service uh, uh, but, like it, it it's not realistic but it in a game place uh, it's like, it balances passenger service being harder to run, having more requirements for like training and etc. To where like it incentivizes you to do it. Because if, if it doesn't pay well it's gonna be a thing where it's like, well this is why railroads didn't want it to pass for service. Or it, at least you like it, is there at least like a penny to for a component? Uh no, but I think they've talked about it in the uh, in the Discord. I know mail is a pretty requested thing, at least when I was doing community management I'm, stuff. I mean, if you want passenger service to matter or ever be worth it financially, like, that's almost a requirement. Yeah. It's still an early access. There's always there's always that, that room for adding new things in the future. Darknet96, I'd like to see a UK DLC only for Heist to hate it. Can the can the Fog Breathers go play with the 15,000 train sims that they already have that cater just to them? Please and thanks. <laughs> British trains are great, sure. they, but sure. they are like, they are, they, are, they are so over, like freaking over represented and everywhere. Ah! Only in good jest for my friends in the UK. They have all the they have all of the train sims screams it's nice to see a train sim that's actually giving us an american perspective on things and getting a good variety of american locomotives so we do yeah. love apple pie we do love apple pie it's true I'm still just coasting back to the shop. Rolston Rails asked, Heist, are there any New Zealand railway whistles? Is that a question for, like, Railroader or for us? I don't know. This is the list of uh, whistles in here. I'm nearly certain it's all American stuff and Canadian stuff. Yeah, looks like it. And mostly East Coast, but most of the prototypes are East Coast, too, so. Yeah. Which I honestly think it's kind of weird that they have like Sierra Three as one of the starting engines for like a southern railway branch. Like it would have been neat to see something like six thirty be something to start with. Might give you a bit more power, which for like early game when you're just learning how to run a locomotive and banging it up a bit, like the extra power it gives you might be a little more forgiving for starting. Like it's maybe a progression consideration. I would say something more along the lines of a southern, smaller southern Connie would be nice. If they wanted to start off with something small, though. Yeah, I mean, because it's like they're they're doing the Murphy pretty much entirely. Like, you know, if yeah. you're going to go that far, it's pretty good. I don't think so you would have had anything bigger than... The general just looks good in general. Though, so. Yeah. I don't think you would have had anything bigger on the Murphy branch than, like, a uh, small Mikado. So, it's kind of weird that they have a Berkshire in the game, but I don't know. cool, though. It's it is cool. It wasn't built for. I, I will agree, Burke is cool. But why? It, it's too big. 
No, Mark, are you leaving your engine down in Silva and waiting for tomorrow for the new passenger car to get here? That is the thought, yeah, for the other trains. That's, that's smart. I'm going to put this one in the shop because it's brown. brown. My locomotive is brown. We've had birds! We thought we were free! Oh, stream elements crashed mid birding. That's... Oh, there it is. <laughs> stream elements is confused, but thank you, Chris. Much appreciated. 50 memberships. Okay, now I get to look through the overwhelming menu and find my engine service. Okay. It's going to take nine hours to fix my choo choo all the way. Okay, that's not bad. Just leave them be. Do that. Um, so I guess the, the question mark is, do I order more contracts now? Because then they'll show up in the morning. Cause... Now, if you want to make that money back, you order more contracts. Yes. I guess the question mark is, I have some contracts. Are they going to get new cars tomorrow? Um... Some, maybe, probably not all. Like, Holefield Oil takes a while. Like, that, you probably won't get new cars for that. Okay. Stenzel, you might have to switch out one car. You know, so you may have some work to do, but it's not as much as when you initially receive all the I'm cars. I'm just going to just gonna buy all of the ones at Silva, because that seems like interchange to the first town pretty easy. Uh, that's yeah. probably smart. And then there's... Two that it can be done at Dillsboro. So, for Silva paperboard to function properly, or at like its full capacity. Oh, they want pulpwood cars. They want pulpwood. Okay, so we have to run that from Barker's Creek, which is somewhere. Now, I, that pulpwood spur, I think, only fits one or two cars there. Okay. Well, you that's... can get pulpwood from... Connolly? Uh, the yeah, from Connolly. There are tracks for pulpwood. That is longer. I don't have any cars for that though. Yep, you need to buy those. Ah, so I can't do that. But I already took the you contract. You can do there. So. There are some some cars that can be delivered to Silva without without the paperboard being there. Gotcha. That makes sense. The paperboard plant just won't be as needy. All right. Well, we'll get some of these other Dillsboro. We'll get the Dillsboro jobs, and then that's probably a decent amount of jobs. We need to buy. Um, we need to buy some pulpwood cars. Yeah, running so. the Silva Dillsboro stuff is going to be more like running a local than running from Whittier to Ella. Feels more like a right a task, if that makes any sense. Okay, uh, pulpwood rack. I assume that's what I need specifically. Yes. Cool. Yeah, there's not too many options of cars at least, so that's not too crazy uh finance uh we need to take out some more dollary dues <laughs> to buy a couple cars so we're gonna do that uh, uh i'm in, I'm in was... debt that's fine you are in I'm, debt. In danger. I'm in danger that's <laughs> fine i was gonna say speaking of which uh are you just paying the interest on or you or is it actually or are you actually paying the loan off slowly i have to pay them payments you have to do uh you have to I guess that's just the interest payment, and then you have to pay them back. Yeah. So, just be the U.S. Uh, government. Just keep paying the interest. It's fine. I'm sure there will nothing bad will come of it. Seems so. Roller coaster fine. tycoon. Okay. Too big to fail. Railroad. Got it. Um. Well, I think uh, I'm gonna probably stop here because I've got some other activities to get to tonight, and this is a good stopping point. But we're gonna have to pick this up and play some more because this is uh, this is actually pretty solid when you get to do some switching mechanics. It's it's conceptually interesting and it takes a different approach to it i think it just needs like a little more refinement in terms of like balancing pacing i think if if adam does I, I think... a good job on the dev side providing updates as the game is young i think it's got a lot of promise um because right now like overall the ui feels uh, very clunky very overwhelming not very straightforward um, running the trains is kind of 
just kind of like the trade like it's more of a management thing like it, the when it says railroader and that's what's on the tin it's like oh, okay we're gonna run trains it's like well not really you're gonna manage industries and switching and that's where the interest comes in switching operations is fun going over the road's kind of boring but i think multiplayer is going to lend itself to a fair amount of excitement i think um i so think it'll be, be cool. rather fun when we can all play together as and, and running this giant op session it could be really i think that that really could interesting turn it into a lot of fun uh so definitely a lot of promise um i really do hope that they're good on their promise that they're working on the models and taking care of things um, cause the more that I stare at the locomotives, the more I die inside, but, uh, that is neither here nor there when they said it's early access and they're working on those details. So, uh, I hope they make good on that promise because there's lots of details that need to be fixed. Um, but overall, like solid fun, the, the switching shenanigans, that, that Dutch drop <laughs> into the, uh, log loading uphill was, that was like, ridiculous. that was like the coolest thing that has happened all, all in a train game in a in a hot minute for me so super cool definitely a lot of fun there uh so there's a lot of fun to be had uh it'll be interesting to see kind of how the game develops but i gotta go jump off so thanks for watching everybody thanks for the generosity with the members donated and and uh like 800 people watching at top which is uh that's uh that's fun it's been a minute since we've seen that many folks on we'll probably stream it some more uh, I was hoping to stream multiplayer tomorrow, but apparently me and the testers have different versions. So I don't know if uh, we can do that. So, shrug. Conan build. We'll, uh, <laughs> we'll, we'll figure that out at some point. So thanks so much for watching. We'll catch you all next time.